Ho, ho, ho. It's Free Talk Live, the Christmas Day edition of the program. We are live here from our Keene, New Hampshire studios. With you in the studio tonight, you've got Ian. And Daryl Claus. Now... <laughs> You don't look like Daryl Claus anymore. You've lost 140 pounds or something like Nearly that. Nearly 140 pounds. I don't think you qualify for the, the job anymore. I don't know. I mean, I guess I, you could I, have I was a skinny probably Santa Claus. about this size when I actually worked as a mall Santa. Really? You've done a lot of stuff, man. You've, yeah. You've uh, worked for an airline. You've worked as uh, as a prison or a jail guard. Was it prison or jail? Prison. Prison guard. And uh, let's see, what are some of the other uh, Mall Santa now? I didn't know mall about that Santa, one. Mall Santa, Easter Bunny, uh, <laughs> Milk Cows. I'm now pig sitting. Uh, I'm a pig farmer yep. for the next month or so. So, uh, and radio talk show host and presidential candidate yes. uh, for the Libertarian Party coming up here in 2016. Uh, of course, uh, John McAfee now uh, throwing is, is throwing the gauntlet down in that particular race. Maybe we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, tonight because he's basically called out all of the the other libertarian presidential candidates, including you, Daryl. Not by name, uh, but that's because you know you generally don't talk about the other candidates by name. If right. That's you, you know, just kind of how things how things go. So uh, you can call in. You can join us here. We're live on Christmas Day and plan to be live, by the way, New Year's Eve. So throughout the holiday season, uh, Free Talk Live bringing you live content for you to interact with should you choose to do so. We're going to start out tonight with some holiday related news and stories. We've got everything from uh, some you know outrageous news to the bizarre. There's a story out of China where, uh, wait, is this China? No, excuse I me, Tokyo. Said Tokyo. I'm sorry, Tokyo. Uh, where protesters are protesting Christmas. They're angry single men protesting Christmas. <laughs> and apparently communists uh, as well. So we'll, we'll get into that. But, Hold on. So the angry single men are protesting Christmas and communism? No, they're communists protesting Christmas ah, okay. and are angry single men. So Probably because they're communists. Yeah, well... We'll see. We'll get into the story here uh, in a bit. But first, some bigger news from uh, Texas. Daryl, you've got the story about a crackdown on freedom from religion. Yes. The story comes from, I believe this is the Texas Tribune. And they say to celebrate the season, the Texas Capitol has multiple Christmas trees and a nativity scene on its grounds. But after a complaint by Governor Greg Abbott on Tuesday... A winter solstice display urging the separation of church and state has been removed. The display was a cardboard cutout of the nation's founding fathers and the Statue of Liberty looking down at the Bill of Rights in a manger. Huh. It had been set up in the Capitol's basement, hardly a high-traffic area, yeah. and did not generate much of a public response, probably because it was in, in the, the basement. basement. Right. But after finding out about it, Governor Greg Abbott called it a juvenile parody in wow. a letter asking a the moron. State Preservation Board to remove the exhibit. <laughs> now it's gone, and the Freedom From Religion Foundation, the group behind the display, says that, that they are suit, considering legal time. options. Yep. The Preservation Board approved the exhibit days earlier, but <laughs> after receiving the letter from Abbott, the agency reconsidered. Executive wow. Director John Sneed snapped a picture of it and texted it to Representative Charlie Guerin of Fort Worth, who chairs the House Administration Committee. Guerin said to take it down. Is there a picture of it in the, the news article? that uh, There is. Okay, great. So you're going to share that on our Facebook yes. and Twitter. So I, I am curious to see, uh, to, to see what this thing looks like. But nonetheless, in the basement of all in places. In the basement. I mean, look. <laughs> Were the other displays in the basement as well? I'm just curious. Uh, it does not appear from this photo that any display is anywhere near this thing. Wow. My guess is the other displays were very prominent. I would say that's on. I would say that is a reason to sue. I mean, even if it hadn't been taken down, if they're putting the Christian display or whatever other displays happen to be up during the holiday season, if they're putting those other displays on the first floor, which gets more traffic. That seems to be, uh, to me, to be a, a, a suable, you know, sort of discrimination level situation. Of course, but we we but now see it's things, definitely suable. We see things like this all the time, where you go to a college campus and they say, "No, you you can't do that here. You have to go to the free speech <laughs> area, and the free speech area is all the way yeah. on some back corner of campus, surrounded by ten acres of woods in any direction." I declined their invitation the last time they told me that. I stood stood right where I was. 
The state representative, Garen, said the governor wanted it down, and I told John that if I were him, I'd take it down. It was an inappropriate exhibit. Wow. Okay, stand by. Let's get to more of the, the details on this. You can share your thoughts. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Live Christmas Day edition of Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. Should only Christmas-related displays be allowed on state property uh, during the holiday season? That appears to be the belief of this particular governor in the yes. state of Texas. Uh, and you can also join us via Skype. We do have Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Let's go to the phones, to the fun. You can bring up anything you want here on Christmas on Free Talk Live. Hey, Joe, you're in Kentucky. Uh, yes, uh, thanks for having me on. Hi, Joe. I just want to uh, throw a curl a little bit about the Christmas gift the Free State Project is receiving. Get 90% of its goal. That's a big one. And uh, I didn't know if y'all talked about that much, but uh, that is awesome that you're 90% to your goal. Thank you. I'm pretty excited about it as well. I mean, it's been a long time coming. The Free State Project started in 2001, so it hasn't exactly been a an easy or quick process getting 20,000 people to uh, you know, to pledge that they are going to move to New Hampshire and work towards more liberty. In fact, we're not quite to 20,000 yet. We're at uh, 19 or 90%, as you said, which is uh, just over 8 uh, 18,000. So it's great news. We're definitely going to wrap this thing up sometime in 2016. And I know there's a, a push going on. There's a fundraising push to where the Free State Project is looking to raise money to just close this thing up with basically a big Facebook ad campaign. Essentially, they've run the numbers and they've found that for every $20 someone donates, that they can get one new signer from doing Facebook advertising. And so they're they're pushing to get like forty thousand bucks. Uh, ask and uh, you know like if you don't play football, you can be a um, uh, what's that word? Uh, uh, like a water boy sort of, of thing. And your energy, but you're a booster. Uh, it's uh-huh. a booster program for the people that cannot move to uh, New Hampshire, but yet feel the belief and want to push for liberty. Is there a program such as that? You could sign up as a friend of the Free State Project. Can you do that outside of New Hampshire? You can do that anywhere in the world. Oh, I thought friends were only inside New Hampshire. Okay, I didn't realize that. My understanding was you could be a friend from anywhere. Hmm. All right. So So, how would you do that? uh, You would go online. The the best way would be to go online to freestateproject.org and then... Uh, I think one Ian, of the best verify things- whether or not uh, one can sign up as a friend from outside. I, I'm fairly certain you can. Okay, so there is a category for in-state friends, and uh, presumably there's a category for out-of-state friends as well. I just hadn't seen the numbers for, for the out-of-state folks. That's one way to do it, but uh, I think uh, some more tangible ways to help would be to, one, contribute money to the Free State Project. They're doing a fundraising campaign, uh, freestateproject.org. There's a donate link there. Two, contribute money to Free Talk Live and the Free Talk Live AMP program because we're one of the biggest promoters of the Free State Project and we're promoting the ideas of liberty in general. You can go to amp.freetalklive.com. Three, if you've got more than money, if you've got time to contribute, then there are actually things you can do from outside of New Hampshire that will actually help what we're doing here in New Hampshire. Daryl, you're an active uh, legislation reader for the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Yes. You sit down and you read through bill after bill after bill of the proposed I've legislation. I've reviewed, I believe, three dozen pieces of legislation so far for the for upcoming year. So, I mean, you you were one of the busiest that they had last year. Yes. And you, you live here. But this is something that anyone outside of New Hampshire can do. So if you feel like you're stuck where you are, you can't leave anytime soon, and you really want to help out, maybe you don't have money to give. If you've got some time, or heck, if you've got money and time, uh, but if you have time, it obviously takes time and effort to read through this legislation. So we could have, in theory, hundreds of volunteers outside of New Hampshire vetting and reading through this legislation that's being proposed. And basically what you're doing, Daryl, is you rate it. There's a system that you use, an online system that you use but to rate it. There's basically a survey for each bill yeah. where you go through and you answer various questions about the legislation. That ultimately determines whether or not it's freedom-friendly or if it's anti-freedom. Yes. And that gives the state representatives a voting recommendations here so that's i think one of the biggest ways that you can help from outside of new hampshire joe thanks for asking thanks for the call tonight our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE 855-450-3733 we continue the live christmas day edition of free talk live your medicare benefits right now you know original medicare may not cover all of your needs and the deadline to choose your plan is rapidly approaching plus whatever medicare plan you choose is locked in for a full year 
So the wrong choice could cost you thousands of dollars in out-of-pocket costs. At Health Markets, we can help you find a plan to minimize those costs with one free phone call. You could spend hours doing all the research yourself, or our licensed agents can do it for you for free. Call Health Markets now for free help. 800-978-4818. 800-978-4818. 800-978-4818. Again, that's 800-978-4818. Health Markets Insurance Agency is a DBA of InSphere Insurance Solutions. Licensed in all 50 states and D.C. Service and product availability varies by state. Agents may be compensated based on your enrollment. Concerned about harmful contaminants in your water? Look to ProPure, the most trusted name in gravity water filtration systems. ProPure, with the silver-infused Pro1 G2.0 filter, removes over 200 contaminants, including VOCs, heavy metals, chloramines, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, fluorides, and radiologicals. We don't just say it, we back it up. The Pro1 G2.0 filter is NSF42 certified and independently tested to meet NSF. F53 and P231 standards. Pro Pure Water, the way nature meant it to be. Clean, crisp, and refreshing. Purchase with confidence in quality, performance, and customer service. Take advantage of our biggest holiday 25% off sale going on now. Visit your authorized Pro Pure dealer or ProPureUSA.com. That's P R O P U R U S A.com. Or call 800 544 3533. 800 544 3533. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.LRN.FM or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.LRN.FM. That's apps.LRN.FM. In Survivor Max 2, school bites Maximus scavenged through a wasteland swarming with the undead. Desperate to find the medicine he needs, he discovers a community of survivors at his former school. Has he finally found the safe haven he's been looking for, or will he discover that school bites? Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, and read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Yeah. It's Free Talk Live. Join us toll free here, 855. 855- 450 free. That's 855-450-3733. You can still do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You get the same great Amazon prices that you're used to. There's three Amazon links there for you. There's Amazon UK, Amazon Canada, and Amazon US. Want to go get your shopping done? Do it and help Free Talk Live all at the same time. Shop.freetalklive.com. It's the same experience you're used to. You're just uh, a portion of the purchase price goes to Free Talk Live. At shop.freetalklive.com. Just remember to start your shopping experience there. So, uh, Daryl, you did post from the Texas Tribune the story about a solstice celebration display in the Texas state capitol. 
that was placed in the basement, and it was urging the separation of church and state. It was put on display by the Freedom From Religion Foundation. And you weren't exaggerating when you said this thing does not appear to be near, be near anything else. It, I'm seeing the photo here from uh, Texas Tribune. You put it up on our Facebook and Twitter page. Uh, so you can check this out. At first, the picture looks like it's a tiny little diorama just because of the, the scale of where the photographer is standing yes. and, and the fact that there's literally nothing else in the photo. So it looks very, very small. I suspect that it's nearly six feet tall uh, just simply because it's got one of those little uh, tripod dealies next to it, like the, right. p- the poster holding sort of, uh, pre- you know, like office presentation. What do you call those things? It's, it's a tripod, essentially, but not like right. one that you put a camera on, one that you put like a, a little piece of poster board. And- right, and I, I actually have one that looks exactly like that. And those stand, what, about five foot, foot tall or something uh, like that? About five, five and a half. So, I mean, this thing is probably, if you look at the Statue of Liberty in this diorama, there's, as you said, there's Ben Franklin and there's some other white-haired gentleman there. Uh, and then there's the Statue of Liberty holding her torch a, uh, a you know, a flame high up in the air. I'd say the top of the torch is probably no higher than six feet tall. This right. isn't a very, very large thing at all. And there's literally nothing else in this basement. There's a column to hold up the first floor. Far behind that are some doorways to some other empty rooms. And literally, there's nothing else in this photograph. Yes. There's no people. There's no activity. There's no other displays. There's not even like a, there's not even a, f- a picture frame on the wall. It's the most barren uh, basement you can. I mean, the only thing that's that uh, makes it different from your typical basement is it's fairly well lit. Like there's uh, there's lighting right. in there. It's not like a dark, dank basement, but otherwise there's no reason for anyone to go down there at all. And the the Texas governor, what was his name again? Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott has made an issue out of this and has demanded that this diorama be taken down. And it was. And it was supposedly put up because, well, freedom of expression, freedom of religion, and and the converse, freedom from religion. This right. is the freedom from religion organization who put this together. Go ahead with the, the story. The removal comes a week after Abbott publicly expressed his support for a nativity scene outside the city of Orange Municipality Building. He argued that the city had a constitutional right to display the religious imagery. Wow, that is a backwards argument. And remember, the Capitol building has multiple Christmas trees and a nativity scene on display. And I suspect that nativity scene is not in the basement. I suspect none of the trees are either. I mean, to be fair, we're not seeing the whole basement in this photo. True. Maybe there's a whole array of displays behind where the person took the, the photograph, but I I doubt it. So do I. Yeah. In the letter that he wrote on Tuesday, he cited the Constitution again, <laughs> writing, The Constitution does not require Texas to allow displays in its capital that violate general standards of decency and intentionally disrespect the beliefs and values of many of our fellow Texans. What the hell is indecent about this? It's, I mean, nobody's naked. What is indecent about this? The display is offensive, does not serve a public purpose, and does not educate anyone. He Um. added... Far from promoting morals and the general welfare, the exhibit deliberately mocks Christians and Christianity. He then called it a juvenile parody. Wow, it doesn't say anything about Christianity, does it? I mean, I'm trying to to read the sign. The, the picture's kind of low resolution and a little blurry, but it looks like it says, Happy Winter Solstice. At this season of the Winter Solstice, we something, something, and the Bill of Rights, we honor, maybe honor the season or... Something, something, adopted December 19, something or other, placed by the Freedom From Religion Foundation on behalf of their members, FFRF.org. I don't see anything there about an attack on religion. What is it? Because they're gathered around sort of a la Christian uh, nativity display? It, it looks too much like a nativity scene. I mean, they're, they're gathered Apparently. around the Bill of Rights on a little nativity bed kind of thing or yes. whatever you might. I mean, come on. This is. I would say this is a very tasteful uh display the freedom from religion foundation is based in madison wisconsin and they describe themselves as being dedicated to promoting the constitutional principle of separation of state and church and to educate the public on matters related to non-theism 
Sam Grover, staff attorney for the foundation, said the group is reviewing its legal options and will be in touch with the Preservation Board about getting the display back up. Uh, Grover says, We are certainly disappointed that Governor Abbott has used his personal opinion to censor our display from the Capitol. The display was originally permitted because it was sponsored by State Representative Donna Howard from Austin, Howard said she found out about its removal Tuesday afternoon, saying, I was told by someone that the governor had ordered it to be removed. She says the decision is disappointing, especially since many state leaders have raised concerns about freedom of religion and freedom of expression. She added, it is unfortunate that these things are used for political purposes of trying to create discord when they should be set as an example of how we can all live together. But Abbott's efforts quickly won the support elsewhere. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick released a statement Tuesday afternoon saying the display violated the Preservation Board regulations and purposefully mocks the religious beliefs of others. Patrick added, I believe this mocking exhibit was approved in error and the State Preservation Board is under no obligation to support or allow displays intentionally disrespectful to others. Uh, wow. What do you think about all this, Daryl? I'd see nothing disrespectful no. about this. Yes, obviously they're trying to, you know, hold the founding fathers in a little bit higher regard than I would hold the founding fathers. Mm-hmm. But that's appropriate for a state house. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly appropriate for a government building. To honor the Bill of Rights and the Statue of Liberty and, and, to, and the founding fathers. And to, you know... Advocate for the separation of church and state, something that, you know, uh, who was Jefferson wrote about in some letter. You know, most people think, oh, First Amendment, separation of church and state. Those words actually came from a letter from Thomas Jefferson to someone else. But if you read the First Amendment, then basically that's what it describes is a wall of separation between the church and the state. That was one of the reasons why people wanted to get out of the United Kingdom was because there was an official church over there. And not only was there an official church, but certain religious practices were being punished and prohibited. Our toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Are you offended by the fact that there is this sort of take on the nativity display that is reflecting a a reverence for the bill of rights rather than jesus the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE it's free talk live we use mobile devices right against our bodies every day but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to emf radiation emitted from these devices the solution is defender shield the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed defender shield blocks virtually 100 percent of emf radiation from cell phones tablets and laptops and starts at just 64.99 buy now at defendershield.com for 10 percent off use promo code gcn defendershield.com the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding Paid not attorney spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with principal office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. Silver and gold, silver and gold, how do you measure its worth? Just by the pleasure it gives here on earth. 
Roberts and Roberts Brokerage hopes you have a happy holiday season and a prosperous 2016. We're available 24-7 at rrbi.co or call 800-874-9760. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Are you a sneezer? If you're not, can you get close to one? I don't literally mean someone sneezing. Sneezer, as defined by marketing guru Seth Godin, is an opinion leader. When a sneezer mentions something, other people catch what Godin calls the idea virus. Seth Godin says some people are more likely to tell their friends about a great new idea. So identifying and courting sneezers is a key success factor for idea merchants. His book, Unleashing the Idea Virus, is the most downloaded ebook in history, and you can download the whole book free. That's how he's making his idea contagious. Click tips, tricks, and other stuff to help you cut through the clutter at www.survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. It's Free Talk Live. We invite you to join us here. Bring up whatever happens to be on your mind on this Christmas Day edition of the program. We're here as we always are. Uh, with you tonight, it's Ian and Daryl. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. The Pre uh, Freedom From Religion Foundation has been forced to remove their display from the Texas State Capitol basement. They did not remove the the oh, display. The Texas government removed it for them? Some the government agent I see. removed the preservation board. That approved the setting up of the display, then pulled it removed down. the display after the governor wound up complaining and right. sending them a nasty letter saying that this is a juvenile parody. Uh, it seemed pretty tasteful to me, but uh, nonetheless, people should be able to have juvenile parodies if other people are allowed to have their particular religious uh, diorama on display. Right, and the article from the Texas Tribune mentioned that the Capitol building in Texas has multiple Christmas trees mm -hmm. and a nativity scene. So you no mention of uh, menorahs or you know any other sort of thing right, for not any the others, other celebrations. And they're not making the Christians take theirs down. Uh, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We're going to go to your phone calls. But if you own a, a small business or maybe a church and you want to communicate with, let's say, as as few as 100 or as many as 2,000 of your customers or parishioners or whomever, members of your group, you can sign up over a text fire. It's a perfect way to use the text messaging marketing service out there that text fire offers, and it's super easy compared to a lot of the services that are out there. Many of them are cumbersome to use, and there's a lot of manual entry to add and remove subscribers. With TextFire, your customers can subscribe or unsubscribe simply by texting a keyword of your choosing to your number, which is, by the way, a real local number. So it's not one of those short codes that most of these text messaging services use. So you get a real local area code, real local number, and your customers can even text back to you. It's great for smaller businesses out there, and you can send out whatever you want, maybe an advertisement for a sale, an event reminder. Maybe you want to communicate with your employees. You can use it for that, too, because you can have unlimited subscriber lists and use different lists for different types of customers and, uh, and even your staff. So go to textfire.com, T-X-T-F-Y-R-E.com, textfire.com. Free Talk Live listeners like you get your first month for free. All you have to do to get that is call them toll-free at 877-792-7418 or text 
the word or the the letters FTL, like Free Talk Live. Text FTL to 877-792-7418. And don't forget, if you're calling them, to mention that you heard about Text Fire on Free Talk Live. To get your first month for free, textfire.com, T-X-T-F-Y-R-E.com. Chris is in Evansville listening to WGBF. Hey, Chris. How you doing? Hey, you're on the air. Hey, uh, I, I like to start by saying I, I listen to you guys all the time. Thanks. And I generally like what you say. I have noticed that uh, when you were just talking about, uh, it says in the Constitution, you know, about the separation of church and state, and that's not exactly what it says. That's what I said. I I said that the the phrase separation of church and state came from a letter that Thomas Jefferson wrote to somebody. The First Amendment says that uh, the Congress shall not... Actually, I've got the language right in front of me. Uh, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Right. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is when you said that, you, you, you said, but basically, you said it doesn't say separation of church and state. But then you said, but it's basically that's what they mean. And I don't think that is what they mean at all. So, that's okay, exactly so explain mean. explain to me how... Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof is anything other than essentially building a wall between the government and religion, saying that these two things shall not mix. Okay. I Personally, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with anybody. What they want to put up there, it's fine with me. But every time this argument comes up, that's what people bring up, the separation of church and state. When that isn't what it says, you just read what it says. Right. I, I read, read what, what it says, really, and he's I, asked right. you to— I, I'm asking you to explain how right. Congress I, shall make I'm no law you. respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise of religion would be yeah. anything other than creating a barrier between government and religion. Okay. I, I, I think what that really—I think that the real all they're saying is, is that the government— the state can't uh, force religion on somebody. They, you know, they, they can't teach it. They can't. They, they can't endorse a religion. Right. So right. then, wouldn't okay. it be basically an endorsement of a religion to, let's say, only allow Christians to put a nativity scene up, but prohibit everyone else from putting their diorama or their display up at the state capitol? Well, okay. <laughs> What, what my call was really about is is what you when you said that when, when people listen to you they you're on the radio and you talk about this stuff all the time and no matter what the subject is when somebody calls in you make them choose their words very careful and when they say something a little offline you jump all over them all everybody on this show does and I guess that's your job but when you turn around, and you you talk sometimes just like you can just say whatever you want, and people want to just you know go along with that. No, that's not true. You we invite people to call in. I'm sorry, but that's in. not true, Chris. We invite people to call in to you know you got something else to say. You want to counteract what we say. You want to disagree with us? By all <laughs> means, we we love to have people call and disagree on this program. But I think it's interesting. You haven't really been uh you know you haven't really answered the questions we've been asking you, which is you know oh, uh it doesn't. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem you know, with it. You don't because, have a problem with what? What you said. It, I don't have a problem with uh, if they want to have that down there. I don't know why they would make them take it away. So I, you would agree I, then? You you want. would agree then that if the government, let's say the Texas government, if the Texas government only allows the Christian church to put up a a, a religious display at their state capital, that that is establishing a religion. That's them playing favorites, right? I think. Uh, I, oh, I think it comes down to a lot of tradition and and. Uh, you know, people wanting the things to stay the same, and mm-hmm, it's sure. hard to change things. You know, people well, don't like change. Yeah, I get that, but there's certain I rules think, they're supposed to follow. I mean, I understand what you're saying that you know, people don't like change, but the government isn't supposed to do that. You do agree, right? Like they should. I mean, you're saying you're fine with other people having displays up. I'm glad you're fine with that. So you agree that sh- people should be allowed to do that, and that the government is essentially establishing a religion by allowing only one. Correct. 
Uh, well, I don't think they allow only one. But they are but, in Texas. I mean, well, you know, it's, it's, that's a that's a local issue, and who local stuff's always a mess, and that's really the way it's supposed to be, isn't it? I'm pretty sure government's a mess at all levels, whether it's federal, local, state. (laughs) Government is a mess. Look, I mean, by all means, please, I love it when people call in to disagree because I don't want to talk to the choir on this show. That's boring to me. So uh, I like to talk to people who have disagreements. But I will uh, say this. I I do have a problem with, like, uh, people want to put up, like, uh, satanic things. You know, that kind of bothers me a little bit. Yeah. Only because it's supposed you know— (laughs) <laughs> Not that that wouldn't be okay, I guess. Under right, yeah, they should the be allowed to, too. In fact, I've got a news story about that coming up here. Hey, thanks, Chris, for your call tonight, man. I, okay. I appreciate hey, you listening, you. appreciate you calling in. Uh, but, yeah, please, you know, don't feel like you can't. Yeah, We, we want to be challenged. We want people to call with different ideas and, and disagree with us here on Free Talk Live. Phone lines are always open, and it's super easy to get on. You're not supposed to talk about this in talk radio, but here's a hint. If you hear Free Talk Live with no call on the air, that probably means there's no call on our lines. Just saying. So if you want to get on the air on talk radio on Free Talk Live, the numbers are 800, or excuse me, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And or Skype. Skype user. If you don't hear a Skype caller on the air, that means there's probably no one on that either. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. And, you know, I've actually been pretty surprised with how many people have called on Christmas Day. It's not exactly a, a heavy call night in general. So, by all means, get on the lines, interact with us here, whether it's about the freedom of religion, the freedom from religion, and the state governments just ignoring that whole concept. It's Free Talk Live. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through ExpressCoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to SaveItPurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through SaveItPurse.com. It's SaveItPurse.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Free Talk Live. Well, I'm a working police officer. I'm actually on duty in a small town in Central Texas. I've been doing this job 10 years. 99% of what you guys talk about is dead on. We got guys getting into this profession just to wear a badge and play God. Mm. It's getting worse and worse. There used to be a couple of decent guys that I worked with. Both of them have quit. Why did they quit? Well, it's because of the BS. We can't help the people that actually need help, which is what you get into this job to do if if you're a good person. It's interesting that whenever honest cops call in like you, we get the same story. That the corruption rises through the ranks, that the good guys, the guys like you that got in to make a difference and actually help people and catch the real bad guys, the guys like you end up getting frustrated by the system, frustrated by the corruption and the bureaucracy. And they end up quitting, which, of course, means that more bad guys can move in and move up through the ranks. Is anything that, that, inaccurate about that? No, sir. That's my point entirely. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll-free, 855-450-FREE, live Christmas Day edition of the show. We're here in our Keen studios after a delicious Chinese buffet dinner. With some of our Christmas crab legs, yeah, some of our li- Liberty friends uh, getting together for a Christmas Day dinner out with all the other Jewish folks and a religious people uh, in town, likely. <laughs> and then we're celebrating Boxing Day tomorrow. Oh, is that what tomorrow is? Yes. Okay, I thought it was a Christmas celebration that Johnson was having. It is, but it's on Boxing Day. Boxing gotcha. Day is a British holiday. So, uh, yeah, there's always something going on in the uh, the Liberty Activist community up here in New Hampshire. Of course, we moved here as part of the Free State Project. You and I, Daryl, and over 1,500 other people have made the move as part of the Free State Project. You were just checking their website at freestateproject.org because we had a, an on-air uh, discussion earlier about whether or not one could join as a friend of the Free State Project yes. from outside of New Hampshire, and you determined that that is possible. It is possible, yes. Uh, so the options are sign me up as a participant, and then it has the statement of intent. Yep. I'm not ready yet. Sign me up as a friend of the FSP. Okay. Or I'm already in New Hampshire, sign me up as a, an in-state friend of the FSP. Got it. So, yeah, choose one over at freestateproject.org. Just click, what, sign up or join or something like that? I think On the front page, I believe it says join. I found this particular sign-up sheet by looking at the FAQs and then clicking on something because I, the sign-up sheet's a little bit different now. I know you can go to pledge.freestateproject.org, and I think that takes you right to the sign-up sheet. Right. Page. That's a different version of the form, and oh. it doesn't give you those three options. doesn't give you all the options. Okay, so start from the front page, freestateproject.org. We'll look forward to uh, hopefully wrapping this thing up sooner in 2016 rather than later and i was actually when i found that form i was looking for a form that i could print out Mm -hmm. that people could then you know take with them to where if somebody said you know like i don't live here but i want to be able to sign people up but i don't want to have to go to the website because i have seen people with forms i got somebody to sign one of the forms at uh, the porcupine freedom festival a couple of years ago so i know that there's paper forms i just don't know where it is it's a big website, freestateproject.org. Uh, so join us here. And if you're still not sure about the Free State Project, well, then check out some of the documentaries that we've got uh, that were created about the about and by Free State Project participants. Uh, I happen to be the executive producer of Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree, which makes a great gift, even though it's already after Christmas or it's Christmas Day. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can still buy it for somebody. It's a great little gift at less than $8 right now on Amazon. Just go to victimlesscrimespree.com. You can watch it online for free and then grab the Director's Cut DVD, which is, again, less than 8 bucks. It's loaded with bonus content, including commentary tracks by Derek J. all by himself watching the movie, and then one with me, Derek J., and editor Bo Davis as we all sat together in this studio and watched the movie together and commented on it. So it's a fun DVD. I think it's a, it's a cool thing, and thanks to everybody who's purchased a copy. If you have seen the movie, then uh, leave, a, leave a review for it over on Amazon. Just go to order.victimlesscrimespree.com. It'll take you right to the appropriate Amazon page. And again, that's order.victimlesscrimespree.com. So- and I did find the uh, downloadable statement of intent that I was looking for uh, okay. right on the front page under resources. 
and then volunteering, and then documents and forms. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to get involved over at the Free State Project, whether you're inside or outside of the state. Another great movie, 101 Reasons, 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire. Go to 101reasonsfilm.com. That one, there's no DVD you can buy, but you can download a burnable DVD from the website. Uh, you can also just watch it on YouTube because it's only an hour long, and it's really persuasive. It's a great a uh, real short presentation of why New Hampshire really is the best place to get started with a freedom project like the Free State Project. So other states, however, not so free, like Florida and Texas. We already talked about Texas state capitol removing the freedom from religion display that they had put up in the basement where no one goes. Uh, now, here's news from Tallahassee. This is kind of a surprise. Because we've talked in the past on Free Talk Live about the Tallahassee State Capitol Rotunda, where they have uh, historically, over the years during the Christmas season, had a variety of displays. Whereas uh, last year there was some issue with the Satanic Temple wanting to get their display into the State Capitol. This year, the Satanic Temple is not doing that. And neither are the Christians. So it's been kind of a stand down. Rainbow Gay edition of the Festivus poll will likely be standing on its own on Monday in the Florida Capitol. This was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Festivus polls are not supposed to be adorned with anything. They're just supposed to be an aluminum pole. I guess you'll need to go and put up your own Festivus poll in uh, Tallahassee. And the reason they're not supposed to be adorned with anything is tinsel apparently was distracting to George (laughs) Costanza's father. I've never actually, I know about the Festivus thing, but I've never actually seen Seinfeld. So I have no idea about like what, if the episode was any good or anything like that, but it, it, it's a good episode. Yeah. And I, I've got thoughts running through my brain that cannot be expressed on the radio about how disappointed I am that you have really? never seen any Seinfeld. There's ever. a lot of TV out there. You know, it's like when somebody says, oh, have you seen such and such a movie? And you say, right, no, but, it's like, well, there's a zillion movies. So, but Seinfeld replays run. I don't watch TV on like everything. And they have had, been for 20 years. I haven't had TV for 20 years, dude. I mean, just about okay. not quite 20 years. I mean, I've, I'm 35 now and I moved out of my parents. So 15 years. I haven't had uh, TV for 15 years. And when I was, uh, you know, a teenager, I was working all the time. So I really didn't watch that much TV then either. Okay. But uh, anyway, so the Festivus poll, maybe it's offensive to you, but it's a rainbow gay edition of the Festivus poll. That's what is in the state capitol. Uh, and apparently that's the only display in the state capitol in Tallahassee, quieting a battle that began three years ago when a uh, Christian group's nativity scene on the first floor rotunda triggered demands from another group for a satanic display. The Florida Prayer Network opted this year to turn the other cheek rather than continue its fight with the satanic temple and non-religious groups. In response, the satanic temple has also opted to stand down. Doug Mesner of the Satanic Temple in an email said, quote, Without a nativity display, we haven't been properly motivated to apply for a display of our own. Should the decision not to set up a nativity be reversed at any point, however, we have a beautiful display at the ready. The Florida State University group responsible for the flying spaghetti monster could not make time to install its display for Monday's winter solstice. And the Freedom From Religion Foundation banner was nowhere to be found in the Capitol after the Thursday installation date listed on its application with the State Department of Management Services. That leaves the 2015 Rainbow Gay Edition Festivus poll to stand in front of the cavernous hallway toward Rick Scott, the governor's office. The display celebrates a fictional holiday derived from the sitcom Seinfeld. Deerfield, Deerfield Beach activist Chaz Stevens of the Mon- said Monday of the installation, quote, You bet we're going to be up there bright and early, he said. The rainbow gay edition of the Festivus poll will grace buildings in nine states across the country, including Oklahoma. He said, quote, what, what a better way to celebrate being gay than in Oklahoma. <laughs> Which is funny because the Oklahoma government is one of the governments that has been noteworthy uh, or notorious, rather, for taking down uh, or for preventing other groups from putting up displays in their state capitol with the Satanic Temple suing, I believe, over the prohibition on their uh, what was going to be a uh, um, what Baphomet. That's what I'm thinking of. Baphomet. They were going to have a Baphomet display up there. And it was interesting, the Oklahoma State Capitol building, I don't know if you heard about this, Daryl, but 
the Ten Commandments monument was it, there was some guy who like ran into it with a car. Do you remember hearing about that? I don't remember hearing about that, but I do recall over the summer there were several cases that wound up going to the Oklahoma State Supreme Court on that uh, monument. Really? And the state Supreme Court each time said it needs to go because it violates the Constitution, the state Constitution, that is. Mm -hmm. And the governor responded by saying, well, I guess we just need to change the Constitution. So they didn't take it down? I don't believe so. Toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The fight over whether religious holiday displays had a place in the state capitol began in 2012 when the Florida Prayer Network installed a nativity scene with a chest-high manger on the first floor rotunda. Uh, the display prompted Stevens to continue a tradition he started in Deerfield Beach to protest religious displays on government property. He created a crude display featuring a pole made of beer cans <laughs> in honor of Festivus. The fictional holiday celebrated by the family of Seinfeld character George Costanza, a festivus for the rest of us, as explained by George's father in the episode, includes an annual December 23rd celebration that features an airing of grievances, feats of strength, and simple aluminum pole. The Satanic Temple also applied in 2013 to feature a display in the Capitol, but was denied by the State Management Services Agency. The threat of litigation from the Washington group Americans United for Separation of Church and State paved the way for the temple to install the display last year. Pam Olson of the Florida Prayer Network said this year has been rough for the country and her group didn't want their message of peace to interfere with conflict inside of the Capitol. She said, quote, we're not backing down, but it's time for love in the midst of our chaotic world. 855-450 free. Are your kids spending too much time online? Are they gaming instead of doing homework? Are they on Facebook instead of sleeping? Turn their internet access on or off when you want for free at webcurfew.com. 100% web-based interface means nothing to download, install, or configure. Web Curfew is free and controls any device using your home network without slowing down your internet. Block all adult web content with a click of a button. Don't let the internet raise your kids. Take back control of how and when your home internet is used for free. Visit webcurfew.com. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. Support Overstock and freedom of choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance, and he needs your support. Please visit FreeRoss.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Visit FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, December 25th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.38 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,076 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $458. 
Antiwar.com reports backed by U.S. airstrikes, the Kurdish YPG is making new gains in northern Syria, part of an offensive they believe will ultimately put them on the outskirts of the Islamic State capital city of Raqqa. Right now, however, the focus is on a pair of important Euphrates River dams. The closer of the two is Tishreen, which is just 20 kilometers from the YPG forces. If they take that, it's just a stone's throw to the even bigger Bath Dam, which includes a power plant which supplies much of northern Syria, including virtually all of the Islamic State's caliphate. In the past two days, the YPG fighters captured three villages, and they say they believe they will make further advances along the riverfront in the coming days. The wild card in all of this will be Turkey, as they have met previous YPG gains against the Islamic State with harsh condemnation and threats of military action, believing the U.S. is making a mistake and allowing the Kurds to take over the Islamic State territory. For nearly 40 years, Roberts & Roberts Brokerage has been a trusted source for buying and selling precious metals like gold and silver. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and have permanently removed the minimum purchase amount for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on buying and selling precious metals and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 800-874-9760 or visit online at rrbi.co. UPI reports the top law enforcement officer in Illinois has barred fantasy football sites DraftKings and FanDuel from collecting money from residents there because she says the operations amount to gambling, which is illegal in that state. After an investigation, Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan concluded that paying money to play fantasy football with the hope of winning cash prizes meets the definition of gambling under state law. DraftKings and FanDuel, which have each been investigated in recent months over allegations of in insider information have repeatedly claimed their operations are protected by a 2006 federal law that exempts fantasy sports from a law barring wagers from being processed online. Madigan, however, disagrees with the interpretation of the law. She notes that both fantasy leagues even state on their websites that their games are not available to residents in states that have laws prohibiting gambling. In her conclusion, Madigan also noted there is currently legislation in the Illinois General Assembly that seeks to exempt fantasy sports sites from the state ban on gambling. Because the proposed legislation is not yet law, Madigan said daily fantasy sports sites constitute illegal gambling under Illinois law. Madigan's conclusion is another blow to the New York and Boston-based websites, which have been trying to fend off multiple legal challenges for weeks. In 2115 New England, there are no borders, no states, and no regulations, yet never has a more peaceful and prosperous place existed. But Mr. Drake's security company has seen better days. Faced with the prospect of waning power, Mr. Drake intends to replace the anarchy of New England with a government. But at what cost? And can anyone stop him? Anarchy in New England by Joe Jarvis is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. Reuters reports several hundred protesters against police killings marched on Thursday along Chicago's Michigan Avenue, also called the Magnificent Mile, calling for Mayor Rahm Emanuel to step down and aiming to disrupt Christmas shopping in a glittering upscale commercial area. The demonstration was mostly peaceful, however police scuffled with a few dozen protesters who were trying to block the entrance to an H&M store and to obstruct traffic both ways on Michigan Avenue. During the march, protesters chanted 16 shots and a cover-up, protesting the year-long delay in bringing murder charges against police officer Jason Van Dyke, who, according to video footage of the incident, shot and killed Laquan McDonald in October 2014 as the teenager walked away from police. Police killings have sparked protests in some U.S. cities over the last year and a half. Black Lives Matter, a loosely organized movement involved in many protests over race and policing issues, is calling the demonstrations Black Christmas. Also on Thursday, dozens of protesters marched marched into San Francisco's City Hall over the police killing of a man earlier this month, demanding the firing of the city's police chief. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. 
In what medical authorities are calling one of the worst ointment complications in White Plains Hospital's history, area girlfriend Caroline Nagler was rushed to the ER this week after suffering an extreme overdose of scented lotion. With a blood lotion level of 0.45, hospital sources confirmed that Nagler had rubbed onto her body four times the lethal limit of shea butter, green tea cleanses, and naturally soothing mineral therapies. Even putting aside the sheer level of lotion Ms. Nagler had on her person when she arrived at the ER, this was an especially lethal combination she was using. She was mixing scented moisturizers, age-defying serums, and even some harder stuff like jojoba and essential fruit extracts. Frankly, she's lucky to be alive. In other news, Beijing's air solidifies. A Delta Airlines counteragent assures a man he will never see his family again. And a mannequin must think he's some pretty hot They say if you love something, let it go. But how could we possibly leave you behind after being blessed with a relationship as unique and complex as this one? For more, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the second hour, still the live Christmas Day edition of the program with you in the studio tonight. It's Ian. And Daryl. Talking about freedom of religion and also the corollary or converse freedom from religion in the United States. Of course, you have various state governments who are allowing uh, religious displays and a religious displays in their state capitals. Some to more or less success than others. The state of Texas governor uh, demanding the removal of the freedom from religion display, which involves some of the founding fathers standing with the Statue of Liberty, sort of surrounding uh, like a a manger is not the right word, but a bed that would be in a manger. Right. Uh, and then on in the bed is the, the Bill of Rights, and they're all just sort of standing around looking down at it, which I thought was a, a really a tasteful display. But the governor didn't think so, and he sent out a letter to the state bureaucrats and demanded that thing be removed. Citing the Constitution and saying that— He said the state had a right. He said the state had a right to have a religious display. Yes, on uh, the and state capital there, there's and no do. obligation for them to have something that is offensive and called it a uh, juvenile parody. Uh, I hope they get sued, and I hope that they have to pay the folks from the Freedom From Religion Foundation on this one. I hope that Governor Greg Abbott has to pay. I don't hope that the taxpayers have to pay. You know that won't happen. But that's how these lawsuits always go. It's it's the taxpayers. The government agents are never responsible for their own own actions. Almost, almost never. Uh, They they have uh, immunity, basically, from any personal liability. For the decisions that they make when they're on the job. In other news, in, in related news, in Tallahassee, Florida, there's actually kind of a stand down going on, meaning that the the prayer network, the Florida Prayer Network, did decide to not put their uh, religious nativity display up in the state capitol. And as a result of that, the Satanic Temple also decided to not put their display up in the state capitol. In addition to uh, that, the uh, let's see, it was the Americans United for Separation of Church and State. As well as the folks, uh, the same folks from Texas, the Freedom From Religion Foundation, none of them decided to put up their displays this year. There's only one display up, and that is the Festivus Poll, which is a gay Festivus Poll. It's apparently wrapped with uh, rainbow coloring uh, that offend, apparently offends you, Daryl, not because you're anti-gay, but because apparently it's a, a bastardization of the Festivus Poll. Right. If you're going to have a Festivus Poll, have a... Festivus pole that is just an unadorned aluminum pole. Anything else is not a Festivus pole. But I think it's interesting that when the Florida Prayer Network decided to not put their nativity scene up, that basically all of the a-religious people, the Satanic Temple, they're really not Satanists from what we can tell. They're atheists who are kind of trolling. Uh, but from what we can tell, anyway, these a-religious groups also did not put displays up. So it's been kind of an interesting year in Florida and uh, it looks like they're not going to get sued this year, unlike the Texas state government that deserves a good spanking uh, in court over this. You know, it's pretty clear to me that freedom of religion, the state being separated from it, means that if they're going to allow one religion to have a display, they have to allow other people, even a religious folks, to have an equal amount of space to have their own display up, whatever it happens to be. And the fact that they got upset about a display in Texas that basically was 
the founding fathers and the Statue of Liberty surrounding the Bill of Rights, I mean, a totally appropriate display for a state capitol, just means they're going to be paving the way for the Satanic Temple to show up with a Baphomet statue. I mean, if they thought this was offensive, wait until the Satanic Temple shows up with something that's actually, you know, to a lot of people, offensive. I don't care about a Baphomet statue. That doesn't mean anything to me. It's their statue. They can have it, as far as I'm concerned. But don't you think that a lot more people would be offended by Baphomet uh, Absolutely. Than, the, than the Founding Fathers? And here's the question that you really need to ask, and th- this is obviously somewhat a rhetorical question, but who gets to decide whether or not someone's religion is legitimate? Well, I don't think anyone should be able to decide that, but apparently Governor so-and-so in Texas can decide that. Right. So, like, once you start, you know, deciding which religions are legitimate, you then have to decide what constitutes a legitimate religion. Mm -hmm. The federal standard is a sincerely held religious belief. And obviously that's not being applied you know, at all state levels, because there's the issue here in New Hampshire where several free state run churches are being told, well, you can't get tax exemptions because we say you don't meet the definition of church. And yeah, the Church of the Sword just lost a Supreme Court case. They did. And that. their lawyer at the state Supreme Court was arguing, hey, the federal definition is sincerely held religious belief. And so that's the standard you should apply because it's not defined in state statute. It says something about uh, recognized, uh, so, something something recognized, regularly recognized, regularly recognized denomination, sect, or creed. Well, how how the hell do you determine what's recognized? How do you determine what is regularly recognized? So the way I read that that statute, and that didn't really come up, I don't think, in the Supreme Court's ruling. The, it didn't come up in the ruling, but right. it came up in the hearing. The uh, Right, but they didn't rule on it. And ultimately, when you look at that language, regularly recognized only appears in front of denomination. It doesn't appear in front of sect or creed. It's, right, but the usage of the commas in the sentence, it could be it could, applied it could. to all of it. But it also might not. I right. mean, because the definition of a sect is something that's not regularly recognized, right? Like, if you look up sect... It's something that is sort of a, a subsect or a segment or a breakaway from some other religion that might be regularly recognized. It's, but it's usually, by definition, a sect is something that's unusual, right? Uh, not necessarily. It's, I'm pretty sure it's it is. It's mostly used in sort of a derogatory term, but my understanding of the definition is it's basically akin to denomination. So, Baptist— is a denomination of Christianity. You could also say that it is a sect of Christianity. So, okay, uh, the definition of sect from the dictionary, dictionary dictionary.com. Number one, a noun, a body of persons adhering to a particular religious faith, a religious denomination. So that's what you said. But number two, a group regarded as heretical or as deviating from a generally accepted religious uh, tradition. So... By definition, at least for definition number two, sect would not qualify for regularly recognized because by virtue of the fact that they broke away from it. Well, it wouldn't be recognized by the group they broke away from, but they could be recognized by another group. And that's the other thing is who's recognizing it. Is it the state that regularly recognizes it or is is it the average person? And what, what does the word regularly mean? That's not defined. Right. Yeah. So uh, the Church of the Sword, unfortunately, was not successful in their lawsuit. I don't know if that means they're going to uh, further appeal it or what their plans are. I haven't heard anything. Have you? I heard that there may be consideration of a federal lawsuit. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Uh, But I, I think a much better idea would be to start talking to some state reps Mm -hmm. to try to clarify the language of what defines a church. I think that's a good idea. And I I think using the IRS, the the, the the 14 points that the IRS uses of if you meet one or more of the following, then you qualify as religious under IRS codes. If you want to join us here, it is Christmas Day edition of Free Talk Live. We'll, of course, take your calls about whatever happens to be on your mind. We were discussing the religious displays in the state of Texas and Florida. 
In Florida, the State Management Services Agency, this, by the way, from tcpalm.com, Tallahassee uh, news source, the State Management Services Agency maintains the Capitol building, refers to public, uh, public areas in the building as a public forum of free ideas, which includes religion. Peter Wood of the Secular Student Alliance at Florida State University said his plans for the flying spaghetti monster were in protest of the portion of the policy that allows religion. He said, quote, I think some people putting up atheist displays may not be speaking in the way that all of us would prefer to be characterized. It seems like he's only making people angry, referring to, uh, I think, the guy who put up the Festivus poll, and separating them rather than bringing people to an understanding. Wood said he was unable to install his flying spaghetti monster before Christmas, but it may make an appearance the last weekend of the month. Uh, efforts to reach someone from the Freedom From Religion Foundation were unsuccessful. So, in Florida, all you got's the Festivus poll this year. I think the standing down was probably the right move for all of the parties involved. Yes. It's Free Talk Live. Share your thoughts with us. All right, listen up, because this is the most important thing you're going to hear all day. What if I said you could make money flipping houses without any cash, credit, or manual labor? And what if I said you could do it part-time from the comfort of your home? Sound unflippin' believable? Hi, I'm Preston Ely, and I'm going to prove it by sending you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. It sells online for $19.95, but I'm giving away 5,000 free copies this week. To get one before they're gone, call 1-800-961-8439. I used to be so broke. I had my electricity shut off nine times, but I figured out a simple way to make money flipping houses without even breaking a sweat. Now I'm living the good life, and so should you. Listen, if you're sick and tired of stressing about money, this book could change your life. Hands down, it's the fastest, easiest way to get started in real estate. Let me prove it. Call right now to find out how to get your free book. When they're gone, they're gone. Call 1-800-961-8439. 8439 Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, veterinarian and naturopathic physician. The Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy with an important message. Take charge of your health. Do not continue to blindly follow the system that has failed us all. I appreciate GCN listeners because you're open-minded and intelligent. If our system is so great, why is it that the United States, the USA, ranks nearly 60th worldwide in longevity and number one in obesity? All the while, we spend more money than all the other countries combined annually on unnecessary health care procedures and toxic drugs. It doesn't take much to get on track, not with the government or pharmaceutical companies, but rather you in control of your own health with a basic understanding of nutrition and supplementation. FDI Longevity has the finest quality health, sports, and energy supplements available. GCN listeners are invited to join our team of people who want to stay healthy well into old age. We are currently looking for specialists to represent FDI Longevity and save America. To buy products at wholesale prices or join our business team, go to GCNteam.com. That's GCNteam.com. Support GCN. Get healthy. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. Despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. 
If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can join us. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Live Christmas Day edition of the show. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. There's a movement in healthcare today full of people that are ready to stand up and take charge of their healthcare. People like you who are tired of paying too much for healthcare and getting too little. Folks who are standing up for their values and letting their conscience make decisions based on timeless principles. It's a movement sweeping the nation, and you should be part of it. Liberty HealthShare is leading the movement of people who are looking for an alternative to traditional health insurance. Liberty HealthShare is a healthcare sharing organization full of people who are sharing the cost of healthcare in an easy and efficient way. Choose your own doctor, your own hospital, and live out your values in healthcare. Join their movement and change healthcare for good. Join LHS.com as their website, and you can call them toll-free at 800 722 8041. That's join LHS, like Liberty HealthShare, join LHS.com or toll free 800 722 8041. As we continue, Ian and Daryl in the studio. Our Skype username, by the way, is LRN.FM. So feel free to reach out to us that way if you'd like. Uh, of course, Christmas tends to be upsetting to some people around the globe and the United States. In this case, we go to Tokyo, where the independent.co.uk is reporting. On a group of 20 protesters, consisting mainly of single men, calling themselves, quote, losers with women. And I think by that they mean that they've been losing in regards to uh, getting with women, like not that they have women and are losers. Anyway, they're single. So the story here, anti-Christmas protesters marched through Tokyo, claiming the holiday is just a capitalist ploy that discriminates against singletons. About 20 protesters who are members of a communist-inspired group that protest against Western holidays chanted anti-Christmas slogans in Tokyo's Shibuya district. The group... So what would they do? Just walk around yelling, Bah humbug! Bah humbug! Yeah, basically. I, unfortunately, we don't actually get the uh, slogans that they were chanting in this particular story. That's I, too bad. I would like to know what they were. But there is a picture of a couple of these men and they are masked men, so they apparently are not too proud of being single with uh, or uh, failures with women or losers with women here. Uh, they're not showing their faces. One man wearing camouflage and a uh, sort of not a not a balaclava, but sort of a just only his eyes are are showing in his mask. Another are man, they wearing no ma'am t-shirts because that would just be hilarious. I don't know what that is. From uh, do, do you remember Married with Children? I was a probably a kid or early teen when that was so on TV. al bundy created the group no ma'am the national organization for men against amazonian masterdom no i had not heard about that so basically it was an anti-feminist thing is that because his wife was really tall she's kind of an amazon woman no he he was actually uh protesting the next door neighbor the little chicken lady uh, i don't remember her that he Said looked like a chicken. I remember the main characters. I remember him uh, sitting on the couch with his hand down his pants. And yeah. uh, that's about it. But it was a good show, from what I recall. Uh, anyway, they, uh, the other man here is wearing a pink sort of netting over his mouth. They uh, is wearing a construction helmet with some sort of uh, Japanese characters on it. I don't know what it says. The group Losers with Women, mostly single men, marched under banners that read, Smash Christmas! And they have previously protested against other holidays, including Valentine's Day. These guys are just a barrel of fun. The head of the organization who identified himself by the pseudonym Mark Water said the anti-Christmas rally was also in support of unloved men. Quote, in this world, money is extracted from people in love and happy people support capitalism. Unpopular men who don't have a girlfriend or are not married are overly discriminated. We want to break this barrier. Unquote. He told this to the AFP at the time. Christmas is not a public holiday in Japan, but it is celebrated informally by couples, while New Year's Day is seen as a family holiday. 
So, I mean, it is definitely true that uh, that some people who are alone during the Christmas season have a tough time, right? Like, everybody else is having fun. You know, you see all these people, you know, at holiday parties and things like that. And, you know, if you didn't get invited to uh, to any, that could that could be a hard thing. Uh, for some folks, I could see that. Or if you do get invited, but everybody else is there with a significant other and you're sitting there by yourself. But there's always something that you can do. I mean, uh, you and I are single uh, men, Daryl, and uh, we yes. went out together with some other folks from uh, the the activist scene here in Keene. We had a delicious Chinese dinner at uh, the local buffet. Yes. It was wonderful. So I guess it just depends. You know, if you don't have any friends, then uh, you're probably going to be pretty lonely on Christmas. But in this case, they have friends. These angry single men are together protesting Christmas. They could have done something more positive with their time, something more fun. But I guess that's what they want to do. So God has bless them for it. I, I do wish we did know more about uh, the slogans that they had. Unfortunately, we, we don't get that. So toll free number tonight eight fifty five four fifty free. I, I'm also curious what their solutions that they're requesting. The would well, they want be. to abolish capitalism. Okay, but that's still not going to make them not be single. <laughs> like, well, what's the solution they're looking for to not be single? Like, well, I can tell you the protest do, do, isn't going to help. Do they want a government agency? To mandate that you know women show up to their house and provide them sexual favors. Yeah, I'd, uh, anything I say would be pure speculation, obviously. Um, but you know, they—they—that's one of the things that's interesting about this is that it's sort of a mixed message, right? Like on one hand, they're mad that they don't have a date. On the other hand, uh, they're blaming capitalism for it. Here, capitalism is the root of all the problems, apparently, in the world. Uh, to these guys. He said that, quote, money is extracted from people in love and happy people support capitalism. I don't know if I agree with that. D does that suggest that only communists are unhappy or that communists are unhappy and that in order to be happy or that happy people couldn't support communism? I, I, I don't know. The sentence is so full of doesn't make sense. Well, there could be a, a something lost in translation, I suppose. That's incredibly possible. Yeah. And I did go over to the AFP article. The, the Independent is sourcing the AFP as... AFP is the French uh, Association French Press. Uh, I did go and look at that, and it's basically the same content. There wasn't anything extra there. I was hoping maybe they'd have more pictures or so with their signs translated to and things like that. And maybe we should find out more about losers with, with women. You know, Maybe this isn't the first time that they've been in the news, considering that apparently they have... Uh, previously protested Valentine's Day as well as other holidays. Are, uh, yeah, I had heard, I think I heard about their Valentine protest. Let's see here. Here's one from Raw Story. Maybe they've got a little bit more. Anyway, if you want to get in here, we've got the uh, toll-free number 855-450-FREE. Yeah, Raw Story's got a little, bit, uh, a little bit more here. The folks were on the streets on Saturday. Uh, the Scrooges, mostly single men, said they were against capitalism and opposed to the commercialization of Christmas. And further, uh, one man said that uh, Christmas is the most symbolic event for the people loving capitalism. The man, again, identifying himself as Mark Water. The Christian population remains small in the Asian country. Stores offer special holiday sales and people, some of them, decorate Christmas trees at home. So there's really not much else. Uh, so, in other news, uh, let's see. I got another Christmas-related story Are here. Are they using full-size trees, or do they decorate the bonsais? <laughs> I don't know, but in Venezuela, nobody's decorating anything. They don't have any lights, they don't have any food, and uh, no presents. Well, they ran out of toilet paper like eight months ago. Yeah, so we'll give you a little bit more about what's happening in Venezuela, or rather what's not happening in Venezuela for Christmas this year. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com.
so you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Many Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. Call 800-917-8251. 800-917-8251. SWCPoker.eu is Bitcoin Poker 2.0, where players can buy chips, play, and cash out anonymously with Bitcoin. No banking, just Bitcoin. Texas Hold'em, Omaha Hold'em, Draw, and many new games, including Chinese Poker. SWC Poker gladly accepts players worldwide, and over 2 million hands of Bitcoin Poker have been dealt at SWCPoker.eu. Bitcoin Poker from the brand you trust. SWCPoker.eu. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Talk Live, the live Christmas Day edition of the program. Of course, we'll take your calls about whatever happens to be on your mind. All you have to do is dial in toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. Skype username is lrn.fm. Tonight in the studio, it's Ian. And Daryl. So another Christmas-related story for you, and then we've got other news to share with you here tonight. Uh, Daryl, you've got a story about some sort of restrictions that could be affecting certain people's internet access coming up in the new yes. year. In the United States, and I, I do want to know more about that. Whether you know this is a, a news story that needs to be taken seriously, uh, at what yes. level? So, uh, so I know nothing. You will inform us here in moments. Our toll-free number eight fifty five four fifty free. Bigsoapbox.com writing about a a story in the AFP, which is written in Spanish. So we're going to take their uh, their version here at Bigsoapbox.com about Venezuela. And what is supposedly going on there this holiday season? 
it looks like empty shelves. At least uh, the photograph in the story shows a lot of empty shelves in some sort of store. And, of course, that's not a new photo kind of thing. It's not a new phenomenon for Venezuela. They've had severe shortages in the most basic staples, everything from chicken to toilet paper to soap is very, very hard to get a hold of in Venezuela due to government price controls, not only on food. In fact, governments run some of the food distribution there in Venezuela, but also um, just price controls in, on the money. The government has a, a set in, uh, a set trans, transfer rate, a set uh, conversion rate. Conversion. From the U.S. dollar to the Bolivar. And it is the nowhere. strong Bolivar. That's correct. Yeah, they, they replaced the Bolivar uh, like 10 or 15 years ago with a strong Bolivar, which was basically one Bolivar. One strong Bolivar was worth 10 not so strong Bolivar. And I thought it was like 100 mm, or 1,000. I thought it was 10 to 1, but we'll have to double check that. Anyway, the, uh, the food situation has been very dire there. People have been waiting in lines. Uh, if you want to get it, get in and get any of the toilet paper that they might get into a shipment, you have to stand in a line for hours and they're also not allowing photos to be taken of the lines anymore so if the police or the military troops that are in the streets see you taking a picture of one of the lines outside of uh, the grocery store then you'll get in trouble for that in venezuela there was recently an election in venezuela and the communist party did not succeed very much in that election so there was some sort of opposition to them. I don't know how bad the opposition is. I imagine they're bad, but maybe they're not as bad as the communists. Uh, so here's the latest. Uh, years of socialist price controls and rock-bottom crude oil prices, because that's how things were okay for a little while in Venezuela, was the state runs the oil manufacturing. Yes. And uh, when oil prices per barrel were up, they were doing okay. But now that that's not the case... And they don't have anything resembling a free marketplace. Uh, they are in really bad shape. The the actual uh, exchange rate for the bolivars to U.S. dollars last I checked was over 600 bolivars per U.S. dollar. The official exchange rate is 6.3 per U.S. dollar. And again, that's the last time we talked about it. It may be like 800 by now. Anyway, 800 per per uh, per U.S. dollar. The uh, nation of Venezuela little money ha has little money to spend on presents, feasts, or even Christmas lights. As residents complain, December feels like, quote, any other month, unquote, after two years of President Nicolas Maduro. That's the guy who took over after Hugo Chavez passed away a few years ago. This year, Christmas is dead. There's not enough money, said Elise Belisario, a resident of the Caracas suburb Petar, telling the agents uh, France Press, which is the AFP, she notes there's no Christmas decor anywhere, and people do not have enough money to buy presents. Some cannot even afford the basic goods needed to put together a traditional feast of roast pork and assorted sides. The website El Colombiano estimates that a full Christmas dinner costs between 2,000 and 3,000 bolivars, which is the equivalent of about one-third of a monthly minimum wage. And I just checked and verified it was actually 1,000 to 1 was oh the God. conversion of Bolivar to Bolivar Fuerte. The strong Bolivar. The strong <laughs> Bolivar. Look how wow. strong. It's the strength of 1,000 of the old ones. That's right. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, for, for whatever reason, I thought it was 10 to 1. Individual basic food items that can rack up uh, price significantly, especially if scarce in any particular neighborhood. For example, a woman selling eggs on the black market in Caracas tells AFP a box of 30 eggs costs 1,300 bolivars alone. It's difficult to estimate how much these prices would translate to in dollars because the government insists on setting the value of its currency at a fixed rate that most believe is intended to mask the nation's hyperinflation problem. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yes. And is significantly higher than the... By the way, I'm sorry... I think it's interesting to point out that it was earlier this year, so at the very beginning of 2015, when the Venezuelan Money Authority, or whatever the hell they call themselves, they stopped reporting on the official uh, inflation rate. Yes. So there's just no numbers now for that. They used to report on that. They don't do that anymore. The Venezuelan website Dollar Today, which tracks the price of the boulevard in the black market, claims that one American dollar is now worth—go ahead, Daryl. Uh, 
904. Darn close. 841 boulevards today, and this was written on the other day. It wasn't too long ago. It was pretty fresh. December 24th. So, so I could be right. You could be. Check it out. Dolar today. Because it was just a couple of months ago that it was like 170 something. No, 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 no. A couple months ago, it was like six or seven, 700. It's been in the hundreds to one for quite a while. Okay. Maybe yeah. I'm thinking earlier this year when it was just Even, under 200. Yeah, may, maybe, maybe, but uh, it's been quite a while since it's been anywhere near 200. Uh, that would make Venezuela's minimum wage about $11 per month. In addition to food items, non-necessary goods... They need to fight for 15. <laughs> in addition to food items, non-necessary goods have seen a massive spike in price. El Colombiano estimates the price of a Christmas tree is now 33,000 bolivars. A toy doll costs around 15,000. You either eat or you dress your children, said Lucia Gonzalez, a vendor in Caracas. The government's take on Christmas celebrations has been significantly more muted this year than in 2014. Last year, Maduro debuted a socialist Barbie that almost bankrupted stores that were forced to sell it. Socialist Barbie. Yes. I got to say, I got to say, and hold on, hold on. They're selling socialist Barbie. That's correct. And they don't see the (laughs) irony of that. Uh, They uh, stores were forced to sell it. Apparently it almost bankrupted some of those stores. After I, I, I'm still stuck on the, they were selling socialist yeah. Barbie. They didn't go around and give every child socialist Barbie. They, they were partaking in the free market, or not exactly not free, market. free market, because they were forcing stores to put it on the shelves. But people had to exchange money in order to obtain socialist Barbie. Uh, yeah, we're going to find out more about Socialist Barbie. They they do link to a story. Here's the first I've heard of it, Daryl, and we'll uh, we'll research that and see what we can learn more about. It, you know, was Mattel involved in Socialist Barbie? How exactly did that all work? Did Socialist Barbie come with a breadline? <laughs> the toy, well, remember, Daryl, breadlines don't exist in Venezuela. You're not allowed to talk about that. Bread doesn't exist in Venezuela. That's why they don't have <laughs> breadlines. The government's, uh, let's see here, they almost bankrupted stores after the government forced the price down to a tenth of its value. (laughs) Barbie was the latest in a series of goods, eggs, milk, flour, vegetable oil to suffer a similar fate. uh, Fixed price controls forced the government to issue ration cards for basic goods in 2014. That year, Maduro also used his time on television to condemn the anti-socialist opposition for being Grinches trying to steal Christmas. From the people conde- uh, condemning said price controls and demanding an end to the violent oppression of dissidents, if you run against Maduro and you speak out against him, you usually end up in a prison cell. In 2013, Maduro's first year in office, the government released a Christmas carol praising Maduro, titled, Knock, Knock, Who Is It? People of Peace, Lower Those Prices, Nicolas is Here! <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll tell you more Whoa. about Socialist Barbie and the empty store shelves in Venezuela. And you can comment and share your thoughts. You can also bring up anything that happens to be on your mind here on this live Christmas Day edition of Free Talk Live at 855-450-FREE. I was coming out of the hardware store when I saw him. An old man, late 70s, hunched over in the freezing rain, no hat on his head, limping across that slippery parking lot and pushing a row of shopping carts toward the cart corral. It's heartbreaking. Millions of hardworking Americans simply don't have enough money to retire, so they just keep working and working and working until it's too late. Hi, I'm Chad Stubbs, president and CEO of Power Trader, and I believe that's just plain wrong. That's why I'm now distributing to the public absolutely free copies of Power Trader's game changing book on how regular folks can make the money they need to retire fast. For your free copy, Call 1-800-771-6706. Don't let the lack of money rob you of your retirement. Call now for details and get your free copy of this book before it's too late. 1-800-771-6706. But hurry while supplies last. 1-800-771-6706. 1-800-771-6706. 
Concerned about harmful contaminants in your water? Look to ProPure, the most trusted name in gravity water filtration systems. ProPure, with the silver-infused Pro1 G2.0 filter, removes over 200 contaminants, including VOCs, heavy metals, chloramines, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, fluorides, and radiologicals. We don't just say it, we back it up. The Pro1 G2.0 filter is NSF 42 certified and independently tested to meet NSF 53 and P231 standards. Pro Pure Water, the way nature meant it to be. Clean, crisp, and refreshing. Purchase with confidence in quality, performance, and customer service. Take advantage of our biggest holiday 25% off sale going on now. Visit your authorized Pro Pure dealer or ProPureUSA.com. That's P R O P U R U S A.com. Or call 800 544 3533. 800 544 3533. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. When you amp Free Talk Live, you get perks like access to the AMP-only Facebook group and AMP podcast. Visit amp.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Silver and gold, silver and gold How do you measure its worth? Just by the pleasure it gives here on earth Roberts and Roberts Brookreach hopes you have a happy holiday season and a prosperous 2016. We're available 24-7 at rrbi.co or call 800-874-9760. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live, live Christmas Day edition. We'll take your calls if you want to join us here talking about socialism in Venezuela resulting in basically no Christmas celebrations. Uh, you could barely afford coal if you wanted to buy some coal for someone stocking in Venezuela. You either, uh, you either choose to feed yourselves or to clothe yourselves, according to one lady in Venezuela, because it's that bad. The toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. With you in studio, you've got Ian. And Daryl Claus. And you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Uh, Free Talk Live brought to you by the Free Talk Live AMP program. It's a way to get behind Free Talk Live to help us get Free Talk Live on more radio stations, more internet connections, more satellite signals all around the globe to spread the ideas of liberty as far and as wide as possible. And our fr formerly regular co-host, Mark, resigned from the show, from the on-air portion of the show on Saturday night. And uh, he said that he'd be willing to come back if we could get the Free Talk Live AMP program up to $5,000 per month. It's now over $3,000 per month. It was at around probably twenty six or 27 or 800 I forget where it was exactly when when he left the show. But we've, we've had a good 50-plus brand new ampers over the last several days good so it's been a really great week for the amp program thank you to everybody who has signed up 
uh, for it. It's only five bucks a month. You get access to perks like uh, the Amp Only call-in lines, the Amp Only uh, podcast, which doesn't have the recorded commercials that our regular podcast does, and also the Amp Only Facebook group. You do it for five bucks a month. You can use any major credit card through PayPal, Visa, or MasterCard right on our website, or now Bitcoin. We've actually had a few people who were uh, who were like credit card or PayPalers switch to Bitcoin. Which is nice, cool. nice. So yeah, so some people have been really excited about the change to allow Bitcoin amping. So go to amp.freetalklive.com. And I uh, just remember, I don't think I don't think you guys mentioned it last night, but the blog post that Mark made went up yesterday. Uh, so Mark, no, we did, we did not mention the blog post. Our former uh, co-host Mark did make a blog post, and I believe he is intending to continue blogging at freetalklive.com during his time off the air. But his first post since leaving the show on air uh, is all about why he left, basically. Sort of reflecting on the last few days and what people have been saying. We cannot read this post on the air. It is profane. Uh, There are a lot of words that we could not possibly say on the radio in this particular post. Basically, some of the words that people some people have been calling Mark. He starts out the post with that. Um, So see it for yourself. Just go to freetalklive.com. Click FTL blog. It'll be one of the first posts. So there. just for clarification, it's not Mark being profane. It's Mark quoting people that were profane towards to him. him. Correct. Okay. Yeah. People have been saying some very nasty things uh, about him, and he does quote some of that. So just go to go to freetalklive.com. Click FTL blog. It's right there next to the vote on topics. It's one of the big tabs on the site. And then it's two blogs down. It says uh, some comments on my departure. That is the title of the blog. And so if you want to see what Mark has to say about his own leaving of the show, go check out the FTL blog at freetalklive.com. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. We'll go first to Doug listening in Illinois. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Doug. Yeah, pretty much uh, I want to talk about government and the tyranny. You know, I called him before. Yes. And, um, you know, you really need to be careful if you go to the garden shop. In fact, I would avoid completely going to any type of garden shop. Why? And I would avoid and I would avoid putting tea. I'll tell you in a minute. I would avoid putting tea into the garbage. Uh, we get it happen here in Shorewood, Illinois, and it that me how I operate. It usually when I get into to, uh, one article, I usually find out if you know we've had it happen around the country. Uh, we had uh, a lady here, a 45 year old lady in Shorewood, Illinois, who uh, went to the garden shop with her family. She came out. And evidently, the DEA and the Shorewood PD were monitoring it, and they could not tell what she had in the bag. They automatically followed her to her home, and then they they kept watching the home, I believe, for about a month, but don't quote me on it. And they went through her garbage. They found tea in her garbage, and then they, got a, they went ahead and they looked at her electric bill, and her electric bill had been higher than the entire neighborhood. Well, she had been growing a garden. They raided the home. You know, they broke down the door, and they found out that it didn't didn't have anything to do with any type of drug activity or marijuana activity. Another one happened. I forgot where. They've had had them happen all over the country. That's true. So, but they had, uh, I, I, they I've had got two. a question for you, Doug. Are you saying that it's because she went to the garden shop that, like, that's how they found her? That that's how they found her. So, no, no, her, her. Her going to the garden shop and them being waiting in the parking lot monitoring people and her coming out with a big package <clears throat> evidently put up a red flag for them. So, it happened but, but that's again. what you're saying is they, they didn't know who she was until she went to the garden shop. They happened to see right. someone leaving with something. So the moral of the story is right. don't grow a garden because the DEA could wind up coming to your house. Right. It happened. They've had it happen quite a bit around the country. Um, it actually happened with two people that were retired from the federal government. They had a 13-year-old uh, child, and again, they went to a garden shop. The DEA and the local PD were monitoring the garden shop. They followed them home. They did not know it. They went through their garbage, and the wife had been making tea. You know, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the tea that you can make in the maker. I, I actually do it where, you know, and then you throw it out rather than have it in the bag. And they went through the garbage, and they, <laughs> and they thought that had been a marijuana plant. They raided the home the day after. They, you know, they, they told the 13-year-old kid, well, you're, you're addicted to marijuana, you have a drug problem, and later they find out that it had nothing to do with it. <clears throat> there, there was a story all- that I read about not too long ago where some uh, agent somewhere, I don't know if it was DEA or some you know, just local drug cop, went and destroyed an okra crop because he <laughs> yeah. thought that the okra was marijuana. 
Hey, Doug, thanks All for the right. call and the heads up on that. I appreciate it. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I, I thought when, when he said don't go to a garden shop, I thought he was going to say because if you buy fertilizer, they might think you're a terrorist, you know, a terrorist and you're planning to blow something up. Uh I know that the uh, that down in Florida, I remember hearing a rumor that the police were monitoring some of the head shops that sold hydroponics equipment, and that they would follow people home, literally, who uh, went in and and you know took big lights and things like that out yeah. of the store. So, I, so I believe what Doug is saying. Uh, it's definitely possible that that is happening out there. If you're going to be ordering hydroponics equipment, probably best to order online. That way, the monitoring is not as uh, is, it's not as easy. That way, many of the hydroponic suppliers online, I suspect, will ship in uh, you know boxes that don't have their logo on it and things like that to kind and of obscure it. You, you could also get some of your stuff from multiple vendors. So buy the lights from one place, you the could do that. you know pipes or whatever it is that you. I I don't know what all is used in hydroponic, yeah. but <laughs> something you you've got to have the water in something. I'm guessing yeah. it's pipe. It's some kind of substrate or something like that. I, I Honestly, I don't know how it, how it works either. There's a few different ways to do it. Andy is listening in Texas. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Andy. Hey, how are you guys doing? Welcome, Merry sir. Merry Christmas to y'all. Thank you. Go ahead. Hey, I just want to commend you guys on, uh, I'll be darned, you guys are on uh, 24-7. You should be 24-7 Free Talk Live. No, that would be pretty exhausting. I think three hours a <laughs> night is enough. But thank well, you. I appreciate it. I mean, but no, the people would get the point. I mean, here you are on Christmas. You're putting a live a live show on. There's not. I mean, I've been listening to reruns for the last three days to, to all these other radio stations. I'm a news junkie. Ah, okay. So uh, yeah, and so here here I uh, here I get to talk to somebody live on a radio show. But hey, well, we are you know happy uh, to give you your holiday dose for your junkie needs. All right. And you know what? It's a gift from you guys, man. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> there you go. I appreciate it, my friend. Hey, but I want you to elaborate a little bit on that okra as marijuana. Uh, elaborate. How did they come to that? Con- how did this cop come to that conclusion? Probably a moron. That, that's, that, that's my guess. It, it was one of these community. <laughs> I, I don't have the story in front of me, so I'm going off of memory. But there was a community okay. garden. But you knew it was okra. <laughs> there, there, there was a community garden, and the people that owned the community garden came out one day and noticed that their okra was destroyed and. <laughs> something and they like called the cops and then they found out that there was a raid by some cop georgia police declare war on okra the washington post reporting from october of 2014 georgia police raided a retired atlanta man's garden last wednesday maybe this is the same story maybe it's not but i I believe it is it may may not be the only time (laughs) cops have confused okra for uh for marijuana after a helicopter crew with the governor's task force for drug suppression spotted suspicious looking plants on the man's property a heavily armed canine unit arrived discovered the plants were in fact okra bushes Officers eventually apologized and left, but they did take some of the suspicious okra with them for analysis. Georgia State Patrol said that they've not yet been able to identify it, but it did have quite a number of characteristics that were similar to the cannabis plant. In cannabis G- okra. Hey, yeah, go ahead, Andy. Hey, just remember, hey, you guys are doing something special for uh, America right now, dude, and I really appreciate it. Thanks, and man. I love, I- I, I, I really appreciate you letting me talk on your show. It's our pleasure. Yes, Thanks for the night. call, Andy. Merry appreciate Christmas. it. Merry Christmas to you. Toll free number is 855 450 free. 855 450 3733. Still to come here tonight, Quentin Tarantino, his new movie, The Hateful Eight, I believe released today. And apparently a limited release. It's not playing in Keen, damn it. Yet. <laughs> if ever. Uh, the last time Tarantino had one, they didn't play it here in Keene. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. We'll tell you about it. Are your kids spending too much time online? Are they gaming instead of doing homework? Are they on Facebook instead of sleeping? Turn their internet access on or off when you want for free at webcurfew.com. 100% web-based interface means nothing to download, install, or configure. Web Curfew is free and controls any device using your home network without slowing down your internet. Block all adult web content with a click of a button. Don't let the internet raise your kids. Take back control of how and when your home internet is used for free. Visit webcurfew.com. As a pioneer of the e-commerce movement, Overstock.com is proud to be the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin. Overstock was the first because Patrick Byrne, Overstock's CEO and founder, firmly believes in personal freedom and cryptocurrency. Over the past 16 years, Overstock has furnished over 18 million homes with a diverse line of products to suit everyone's unique styles and preferences. 
Support Overstock and Freedom of Choice while enjoying free shipping on orders of .211 Bitcoin or more. There comes a time when you need custom embroidered or screen printed apparel for your business, organization, or a special event. Corporate Casuals has been helping people create great looking logoed apparel for over 25 years. They can produce a single piece or thousands using name brand apparel like Nike, Patagonia, Adidas, and Hanes. Create your logo in their online embroidery design studio or upload your existing logo and they'll turn it into embroidery. Go to corporatecasuals.com FTL and include FTL in the order notes and save 5% on your order. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, December 25th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.38 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,076 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $458. Antiwar.com reports, backed by U.S. airstrikes, the Kurdish YPG is making new gains in northern Syria, part of an offensive they believe will ultimately put them on the outskirts of the Islamic State capital city of Raqqa. Right now, however, the focus is on a pair of important Euphrates River dams. The closer of the two is Tishreen, which is just 20 kilometers from the YPG forces. If they take that, it's just a stone's throw to the even bigger Bath Dam, which includes a power plant which supplies much of northern Syria, including virtually all of the Islamic State's caliphate. In the past two days, the YPG fighters captured three villages, and they say they believe they will make further advances along the riverfront in the coming days. The wild card in all of this will be Turkey, as they have met previous YPG gains against the Islamic State with harsh condemnation and threats of military action, believing the U.S. is making a mistake and allowing the Kurds to take over the Islamic State territory. For nearly 40 years, Roberts & Roberts Brokerage has been a trusted source for buying and selling precious metals like gold and silver. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and have permanently removed the minimum purchase amount for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on buying and selling precious metals and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 800-874-9760 or visit online at rrbi.co. UPI reports the top law enforcement officer in Illinois has barred fantasy football sites DraftKings and FanDuel from collecting money from residents there because she says the operations amount to gambling, which is illegal in that state. After an investigation, Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan concluded that paying money to play fantasy football with the hope of winning cash prizes meets the definition of gambling under state law. DraftKings and FanDuel, which have each been investigated in recent months over allegations of insult insider information have repeatedly claimed their operations are protected by a 2006 federal law that exempts fantasy sports from a law barring wagers from being processed online. Madigan, however, disagrees with the interpretation of the law. She notes that both fantasy leagues even state on their websites that their games are not available to residents in states that have laws prohibiting gambling. In her conclusion, Madigan also noted there is currently legislation in the Illinois General Assembly that seeks to exempt fantasy sports sites from the state ban on gambling. Because the proposed legislation is not yet law, Madigan said daily fantasy sports sites constitute illegal gambling under Illinois law. Madigan's conclusion is another blow to the New York and Boston-based websites, which have been trying to fend off multiple legal challenges for weeks. 
In 2115 New England, there are no borders, no states, and no regulations, yet never has a more peaceful and prosperous place existed. But Mr. Drake's security company has seen better days. Faced with the prospect of waning power, Mr. Drake intends to replace the anarchy of New England with a government. But at what cost? And can anyone stop him? Anarchy in New England by Joe Jarvis is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. Reuters reports several hundred protesters against police killings marched on Thursday along Chicago's Michigan Avenue, also called the Magnificent Mile, calling for Mayor Rahm Emanuel to step down and aiming to disrupt Christmas shopping in a glittering upscale commercial area. The demonstration was mostly peaceful, however police scuffled with a few dozen protesters who were trying to block the entrance to an H&M store and to obstruct traffic both ways on Michigan Avenue. During the march, protesters chanted 16 shots and to cover up, protesting the year-long delay and bringing murder charges against police officer Jason Van Dyke, who, according to video footage of the incident, shot and killed Laquan McDonald in October 2014 as the teenager walked away from police. Police killings have sparked protests in some U.S. cities over the last year and a half. Black Lives Matter, a loosely organized movement involved in many protests over race and policing issues, is calling the demonstrations Black Christmas. Also on Thursday, dozens of protesters marched into San Francisco's City Hall over the police killing of a man earlier this month, demanding the firing of the city's police chief. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Following reports earlier today that Indiana University freshman Lawrence Plotnick's roommate Brian Tabor has found an excuse to go home every weekend since August, Plotnick spoke to Onion reporters about his roommate's frequent trips to his nearby hometown of Terre Haute, Indiana. Every week since we got here, it seems like every time I ask him if he wants to hang out on Friday, he has some wedding or birthday party or something. In fact, I'm pretty sure he hasn't spent a single Friday or Saturday night on campus in the past six months. Plotnick went on to cite a variety of far-ranging excuses used by his roommate to justify his constant visits home, including various family functions, a visiting friend from China, as well as his occasional desire to, quote, just hang out at home for a couple of days. I mean, I suppose I vaguely understood when he had to go back in November because his best friend's grandfather died, but last weekend he had to go back for his aunt and uncle's wedding anniversary. He said he couldn't miss it. This is the Onion News Network. Live. It is Free Talk Live, and we're here on Christmas Day for the live Christmas Day edition. We'll be here throughout the holidays as well, expecting to be live on New Year's Eve. So whenever you want live programming, tune in to Free Talk Live from 7 to 10 at night, Eastern Time, every single day of the week. With you tonight, it's Ian. And Daryl. And our last caller suggested we should go 24-7, which would be uh, pretty impossible to do. We don't have that much, uh, that many people willing to broadcast uh, around the clock. Yeah. But we do have a 24-7 Free Talk Live streaming channel. You can go to freetalklive.com. You can uh, tune into our li- what is our live stream during our live show. Then we'll repeat that live show over and over again for the next 21 hours until our next live show. So if you ever want to hear the latest episode without actually having to download the full episode, you can just tune into the stream and then it'll be just wherever it is we happen to be when you tune in. Uh, you'll hear that part of the, of what it was our most recent show. So we do have a 24-7 streaming channel of all Free Talk Live, but it's all the same last show until the newest new show comes out, if that makes sense. Yes. Uh, in addition, we do have LRN.FM, so obviously you don't want to sit there and listen to 24 hours of the same show. You might want to go and listen to different shows, which uh, LRN.FM is a streaming network that features dozens of liberty-oriented shows. One of uh, three of them, actually, are hosted by Daryl W. Perry. That's yes. you. Uh, what are your three shows, Daryl? There's the daily five-minute newscast that, if you're listening to LRN, top of every hour when it's not in the podcast loop, you will hear the news brought to That's you right. by me. There's also the thrice-weekly 30-minute show, Peace, Love, Liberty Radio. And, yes, I did a show today on Excellent. Christmas. I do the show Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You're doing double duty today. Every Wednesday I do an Ask Me Anything. So I will answer pretty much any question that somebody sends over, as mm-hmm. long as it's something that's a serious question, not like, why are you an idiot? 
So, you know, <laughs> s- send your questions. AMA at FPPRadio.com. I'll okay. answer those on Wednesdays. And then there's the longest running of the podcast that I do. I've been doing this for almost four and a half years, the FPP Freedom Minute. So go to FPPRadio.com. You can download those individually there or just listen to them when they show up on LRN.FM, which is a 24-7 uh, streaming audio channel. It's also available on free-to-air satellite a, uh, across most of sub-Saharan Africa as well as uh, North America and Central America. So get some satellite coverage going on there, too. Unfortunately, I don't think our satellite signal reaches Venezuela, where President Nicolas Maduro kicked off last year's holiday season uh, to... Uh, early to distract from the massive failures of his socialist regime. This from Breitbart.com's Frances Martel. This time, Maduro's kicking off the holiday season with a socialist Barbie, which is the same Barbie that all children know and love, reduced to a tenth of retail value. Now, it was in the last hour that we discovered socialist Barbie. So socialist Barbie doesn't come with like a bread line and no shoes. Yeah, no, no, no. not skinny from malnutrition or anything like that. Well, she's already skinny. She's already skinny, but uh, but you that know, hip to waist ratio, though. The uh, so we didn't know anything about socialist Barbie until just the last hour of the show when we were talking about how uh, store shelves in Venezuela are empty. Uh, people can't afford to buy presents, let alone things like Christmas lights or Christmas trees in Venezuela due to the socialist economy there. If there's even much of an economy left. And then mentioned in that original story that we were sharing with you was this socialist Barbie uh, situation that happened there a year ago. So here's the story. According to Spanish newspaper ABC, Maduro is using the government's hand to force toy vendors to sell Barbies, the Mattel brand doll, not off-brand imitations, at one-tenth of their retail price in order to entice Venezuelans to invest in the OPEC nation's fledgling market. Oh, God. That is not, oh, God. There's just so much just economically wrong with this. You're not investing in the marketplace by buying something at a tenth of its price. You're causing market failure, basically, which isn't really market failure. It's socialist failure. Right. I mean, if you go and you buy one of these socialist Barbies at a controlled price like this, you're forcing the store to lose money. That's basically what you're doing. That's not helping the marketplace. That's driving your favorite toy store out of business. Well, forcing the toy store to carry the thing right. is causing them to lose money. That's true. Because it, it's not like one of these things to where, you know, in a free market, if product doesn't sell, you contact the manufacturer and say, hey, I've got this product that didn't sell. I want to return it to you. In the case uh, here, they were selling the one doll for the equivalent of two dollars and fifty cents. So uh, that's U.S. dollars. Right. That uh, has left the stores depleted of their Barbie supply in minutes, according to store management. The initiative is part of something Maduro calls Happy Christmas. The integral plan was launched in October and will include, according to the president, national security, culture, and music. Boy, talk about a nasty mix of uh, of things there. Culture and music, those are good things. National security doesn't sound like much fun for the Christmas season. Maduro has an- uh, had added in announcing the Happy Christmas plan that reducing the prices of the doll is an attempt to prevent speculators from ruining the holiday. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Who's buying Barbie on speculation that it's going to increase? No, 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 no. I think, okay, so the idea that reducing the price of Barbie to a tenth of its normal cost is going to prevent speculators, that's going to encourage speculators. Somebody's going to go in there, they're going to buy Barbie at $2.50, and they're going to go sell it for $5 or $10 or whatever the hell amount that they can get the Barbies for because there's it was a sellout. I mean, th- these things are priced so low; they're priced far below market value. They they're instant- priced to move. Right. They instantaneously moved into the hands of people who likely then turned around and sold them again on eBay or wherever. Do do, do they have eBay in Venezuela? Pro- well, I mean, there's probably like a South uh, South American eBay or something like that. A lot of a lot of those websites have international right uh, versions. 
Anyway. Right, but like it's Venezuela, they don't have a lot of stuff. So That's like true. I didn't know if they had internet or if it was like some state run internet. I don't know if the state provides internet access, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do. I know that's uh, that's what I, they do. I wouldn't in be Costa Rica. surprised if they control it, even if they don't provide it. Barbie is the, according to Mexican publication El Financiero, Barbie is just the latest project, or product rather, to fall under strict price regulation from the government. Eggs, milk, flour, and other essentials have long been under strict price controls that have significantly damaged the Venezuelan economy so much that earlier this year Maduro imposed rations on the products, preventing individuals from buying more than their allotted supply. Necessarily, goods have become so scarce in this socialist economy that President Maduro has had to start or has had to resort to rationing even water. And uh, as we pointed out earlier, you can't take a picture of the lines outside of these grocery stores. Well, that's why there are no eggs, milk, and flour, because the stores have to sell them below their actual market value, which means that they're sold out almost instantaneously, and the market can't keep up with, uh, with the demand for below market value product. Otherwise, you go out of business. You can't sell. You can only sell so many Barbies at a uh, you know a tenth of the actual market price before your store can't pay the rent. Right. But that's what's happened in Venezuela. Let's go to Dave. He's in New Hampshire. Dave, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian and Daryl. We'll talk more about Venezuela coming up. Go ahead, Dave. That was record time. That was like a, a half a second after I got off the off the phone with your screener. You you had me on the air. We are fast uh, and I'm, eager to serve here on Free Talk Live. Go ahead. The uh, uh, one thing I was curious about is whether have you, I, I couldn't find any indication that you guys had reported on the arrest of uh, Rob, or not the arrest necessarily, but the uh, the situation that Rob Mathias, uh, the free stater in Manchester, had with the police. Did you guys cover that last night, Daryl? Uh, we did not. It did get covered, I believe, on Free Keen. Yeah, the video is up at Free Keen. When it when the, that story was breaking, I think it was Wednesday when that broke, and the video had not yet been posted publicly, so I wasn't prepared to talk about it on the air. So I'm glad you brought it up here tonight, Dave. Uh, uh, Free State Project early mover Rob Mathias, also the host of the Rebel Love Show, which is one of the shows on LRN.FM. Uh, he was not arrested, was he? He was uh, threatened by the police. Are, right. Are they were saying... looking for somebody else. Yeah. All right. Stand by. We'll talk more about it here because I did see the video, and that's what you're talking about, unless there was some breaking news today where he was arrested. I had, have not heard about that, if that's the case. I believe he's watching Star yeah, Wars right, right now. Uh, stand by. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll talk about the cops coming and threatening Rob Mathias. Ultimately, they did give him a ticket, which you can kind of call that an arrest, I guess. It's Free Talk Live. Bloated belly? Gas? Acid reflux? You could have pounds of rotting, rancid, toxic gunk clogging up your gut right now. And with all the processed food we're exposed to today, it's no wonder why. Fortunately, there's New Biotics, our first ever gunk buster for cleansing that toxic gunk out of your body. And right now, we're giving away a free trial to anyone who calls the following toll-free number, 1-800-983-2573. Strict limit of one free trial per household. With pounds of toxic gunk clogging up your gut, it's no wonder you don't feel good. Made with natural ingredients, New Biotics is our first ever gunk buster scientifically designed to unclog your gut and cleanse that gunk from your body, flattening your belly and combating periodic bloating, excess gas, heartburn, and acid reflux. But hurry, call now for your free trial of New Biotics while we're still giving it away for free. 1-800-983-2573. Call now for details. 1-800-983-2573. That's 1-800-983-2573. Did you know that home break-ins increase more than 100% during the holidays? It takes just 10 seconds for an intruder to kick in your door. But police response to a home alarm system is more than 20 minutes. And intruders are in and out of your home in 5 minutes. Thieves know that you're not home and have presents inside just waiting to be taken. And if you are home, how safe will you feel with an intruder lurking inside with your family? That's why police across the country are recommending you use door armor. Proven to withstand the force of a battering ram, Door Armor keeps intruders out. It's easy to install and barely visible, and your Door Armor is guaranteed for life. Go to InvasionStopper.com for a very special buy one, get one at half off deal. These savings are for a limited time and only available to GCN listeners. Protect your valuables and loved ones this holiday season. Go to InvasionStopper.com now. That's InvasionStopper.com. 
every once in a while you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to saveitpurse.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. I know this sounds unbelievable, but at my house, we saved as much as 45% off of a new item on Amazon. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to saveitpurse.com right now, get signed up, and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 15 to 25% off of everything at Amazon through saveitpurse.com. It's saveatpurse.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Cryptocurrency and peer-to-peer -peer tech developments happen fast. Stay in the loop with The Daily Decrypt, a new video channel and podcast that will keep you on top of the latest innovations in crypto finance, security, networking, transportation, and gadgetry like drones and 3D printers. Subscribe to The Daily Decrypt on YouTube and SoundCloud and be an early adopter of the future. The Daily Decrypt. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Join us on the radio waves here, live Christmas Day edition. Glad you're there. We're here too. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Saveitpurse.com. Maybe you got some Bitcoin for the holidays as a gift. That's a pretty cool gift to give somebody. Uh, I remember last year at the uh, county fair, I was doing a Bitcoin outreach booth, and there was this uh, older lady. Usually don't think that uh, elderly folks are going to be too interested in Bitcoin, but she actually said she was thinking about getting some for her grandkids. And I thought that would be a really cool gift for somebody. Anyway, if you've got some Bitcoin you're looking to spend, you can save big time using saveitpurse.com. You can save 25% on your Amazon purchases easily. 20, 25%, no problem to save that within like a few hours of placing your order. The more you want to save, because you get to choose your discount. You want 35%, 40%, 40%, 45%, 50%, it's possible to do it. Uh, you just have to be more patient the higher the percentage goes. Yes. Now, Daryl, you recently had a 50% order fulfilled, but it hasn't come yet, right? That's correct. Still and waiting. it took two days uh, from the time that I placed the order until I got noticed that someone bought the order. So you're still waiting on the actual delivery on still it? Still waiting on the actual delivery. And I, I, usually and I suspect that, you know, because it's the, the holiday week, and I, I'm not sure if the product is coming from Amazon or from a third party. Right. So, you know, suspect that has something to do with the delay. Yeah, if you want a big discount, you do have to be patient. Sometimes on the bigger discounts, you'll get a cancellation here and there. But if you do 20%, man, it's so super easy. Last time I did 20%, less than an hour, someone fulfilled the order. and it Yeah, was... I had one 35% that took one hour and 15 minutes for somebody to buy. And then they'll ship it usually Amazon Prime almost every time, it seems like. Not always, but a lot of them will do that. I mean, it's up to the buyer how they, how they ship it to right. you. And uh, they, you know, they ship Amazon Prime, so it's there in two days. Super easy to, to, to do. So, I mean, if you're going to shop on Amazon, you might as well save 20%. Go to saveitpurse.com, saveatpurse.com, and start saving now. The catch is you got to use Bitcoin to get those discounts. Dave, back with us in New Hampshire. You were calling about Rob Mathias, who is the host of the Rebel Love Show. Uh, he was threatened by police this week. And actually, I, I'm thinking a little further. I think it was actually Tuesday when this went down in Manchester, uh, it started, uh, from what I understand, with the police banging on the back window. And this is a third floor apartment, by the way. Wait, no, is that, are they at a third floor now? Yeah, it's like a third floor know. apartment or a second floor apartment. 
But anyway, they were on the back uh, windows, pounding on the windows in the door, demanding to be let into the apartment. Apparently, they were looking for someone who doesn't even officially live at the apartment, uh, and they're claiming they wanted to arrest that person. And then ultimately, uh, later on, Rob Mathias showed up on his lunch break, was going to bring some coffee to his girlfriend who was at home at that time because the cops had left. So they were banging on the back window, and uh, Leverett, who is his girlfriend, also a co-host on the Rebel Love Show, would not let the police in, which is a good idea. There's oh, no reason good. to let the— I hadn't heard about that part. You didn't know about that. Okay, yeah, there's a second There's a second video. The video at freekeen.com doesn't feature the cops banging, and I, I think he should have put a, a clip of that in, but it's not the best video because they don't actually show the cops— there's no way to know for sure it's the police who are outside shouting and demanding to be let in. But it was the cops. And so they went away. Rob showed up just to bring some coffee to his girlfriend on his lunch break. And that's when the police, like, swooped in. Apparently, they were parked down the street observing the front door of the apartment building. They noticed Rob pull up and go up to the front door. Before he could even get into the building, they they just sort of swooped in in their uh, cruiser, unmarked cruiser, pulled up. By the way, parking the wrong direction in New Hampshire, it's illegal to park against traffic. Unless you're uh, a cop. Apparently. And they park in the wrong direction, pile out, and grab him before he can go in uh, to the door. Not physically, but they you know stop him from going in, and they demand if he knows where this person is. Uh, that they're looking for. What were your comments, Dave, on that situation? Well, I actually only watched about the first three minutes of his video while he was outside. This would have been the second encounter, not his girlfriend's encounter, but his encounter, you know, when he, he came to check up on her. And uh, it was just, it was interesting to, to see how many things he got right and how many things he got wrong. Uh, the, the, obviously, getting video was the most important thing he got right and not betraying uh, this guy they were looking for the other key thing that he got right but on the other hand he was pretty much answering their questions uh most, m many of their questions yeah he answered too many questions and, and that's one of the things he did admit is that you know he was too chatty with the police in that particular video uh one of the questions he shouldn't have he definitely shouldn't have answered was where he lived uh, they had like checked his license or whatever. They demanded his license, which normally they can't. They can't demand your license if you're just walking on the street. But their excuse was that they saw him driving, so they demanded that uh, that he hand it over. And ultimately, wrote him a ticket for an unregistered vehicle, or uh, or, I, or I think it's no, he wasn't driving while suspended. I think it was just an unregistered vehicle charge. Uh, so basically, they ended up punishing him because he wouldn't help them kidnap this peaceful man that they wanted. Well, also, when they asked him if he knew where the guy was or something like that, you know, he, he, he answered the question with a statement rather than a question of his own. It sounded like he was saying he didn't know where the guy was or if the guy didn't live there or something like that. Yeah, he did make and, a claim uh, about him not living there. He, he sort of made a claim about not knowing the guy and also that he didn't live there. Uh, and it it did it did seem kind of shifty the way that he had answered those questions. So yeah, I agree with you, Dave. It's generally best not to answer the questions of the police. And I got into this situation myself once with police on the front porch here on the LRN studio at the LRN studios, where I thought that I was going to be smart enough to be able to answer their questions or not answer their questions, but talk to them without revealing uh, information that could assist them. And ultimately, it just never works out very well because these guys are professionals at asking questions, and uh, and you know activists. Even though we're you know we're decent at uh, dealing with the police, nobody's perfect, especially in a situation with a lot where a lot of pressure is on. So it's important to get this stuff on video and to be able to look back on it and see what you did right and see what you did wrong. It's also kind of an important indicator that we need to do more drilling. They've been doing some of that at Pork Fest, you know, where they'll have a car and you can sit behind the wheel and pretend like you're being pulled over and, and former cops will, will uh, interrogate you. And so forth. I don't but think I, they've done that at Porkfest for years. I've uh, never heard of this happening. That. The last I've time that happened at the Porcupine Freedom Festival, which is the yearly camping festival uh, for the Free State Project, I believe it was Mike Barsky who was putting that on and he has been missing in action for... Uh, several years, if not more than several years. My first pork fest was 2010, and I heard nothing about some pretender being arrested thing. Now, to be fair, there's a lot that happens at pork fest, but 
it's interesting that you mentioned Mike because yeah, you know, Mike actually is one of the people who we've all learned from in the sense that he's gone out and made mistakes and then reported them back to us to explain how difficult it is. Even if you know you're not supposed to answer questions, yep. you'll still do it the first few times you interact with cops. And those first few times may be all it takes for you to get in a lot of trouble. I like uh, there's some great videos online that I think people can learn from. There's one where a guy. His only response to the police is, I don't answer questions. So he doesn't ask a question back, although I agree with you, Dave, that that's always a good approach is to just ask the police questions. Um, that way you're interrogating them and they're not interrogating you. But this one guy, like if you want to keep it simple, just I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. Well, or, I, I still I don't think problem. that's you the best tactic statement. you can take. All right, stand by because well, I yes. saw it work and it worked darn well for this guy. Stand by, Dave. If you want to continue commenting, you're welcome to do so. Uh, 855 450 free. I think there's different tactics in different se- scenes that work better than others, but we'll talk about different options for dealing with the police. It's Free Talk Live, and if you want to share your tactics, please do. So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. If you or someone you care about loves outdoor adventure, then check out Slingbow.com for some unique holiday gift ideas. That's Slingbow.com, where we have some innovative new products for the archer, hunter, or bow fishing enthusiast in your family. Now through January, use the promo code HOLIDAY to get free shipping in the U.S. or Canada. And from all of us at Slingbow Industries, have a safe, joyous, and peaceful holiday season. Money, power, and respect are all yours at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Be seen as an industry leader. You can do it. The last application you filled out when it was time to hit submit did your nerves spike. You didn't get the approval you seek, but there's a better way. We teach you exactly what to place into the right systems the right way the first time so you get approved. Get up to $100,000 in instant business credit. Many people will get cash on the spot. Use those two tools in your new corporate credit engine so you can walk into the bank and get your project funded today. It's all about today at CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. Credit Success Secrets Revealed is explosive and ignites instant results. Dial 1-800-707-8719. That's 1-800-707-8719. 1-800-707-8719. Or just go to CreditSuccessSecretsRevealed.com. The new fourth edition of Healing Our World, The Compassion of Libertarianism, will take your understanding of liberty to a deeper level and has over 1,300 updated references, new cartoons, and a foreword by Dr. Ron Paul. With discounts for multiple book purchases, the fourth edition of Healing Our World is a great gift for the liberals, pragmatists, environmentalists, and Christians in your life who think libertarianism is cold-hearted. Get yours today at healing.freetalklive.com and use promo code FTL for a $5 discount. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Understanding your credit score is the first step towards managing and improving it. This is Charlie Sundstrom with your Van Dyke Mortgage Minute. The most influential component of your credit score is your payment history. Almost equally as important is the amount you owe on credit accounts. Also impacting your score, but to a lesser degree, are the length of time you've utilized your credit, the number of new accounts, credit inquiries, and your various types of credit accounts. To help achieve or maintain a healthy credit score, have a system set up to assure your bills are always paid on time. Don't max out your cards. It's better to have a high credit limit with a low balance. Never close old accounts. The age of these can actually help your credit score. But don't be afraid to use your credit. You need several accounts in order to have a credit score. Just keep the corresponding payments within your means. 
For your mortgage pre-approval and refi needs, start by visiting VanDykeMortgage.com. Corporate NMLS 3035. Van Dyke Mortgage is an equal housing lender. Charlie Sundstrom, NMLS 134251. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want here. It's all free. Numbers 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Is there a best way to deal with the police at a uh, traffic stop, for instance, or on the streets? Uh, there's you know different circumstances, different cops. I think that different approaches could work in different circumstances, depending on the cop that you're dealing with. Like, for instance, if it's a rogue cop who's willing to grab your phone, smash it on the pavement, and throw you, uh, you know, break your window to throw you out the window of your car... Probably no tactic is going to be particularly useful right. with, with that particular officer. Dave, Shooting yourself in the head would probably be the only way to deal with that kind of cop. We've got uh, Dave Ridley on the line with us from RidleyReport.com. And Dave, you were calling in regards to Rob Mathias, the host of the Rebel Love Show, being threatened and ultimately ticketed by police for not assisting them in their investigation where they were trying to kidnap someone at uh, at his house the person was not at his house but they believed that he was living there uh this person and rob uh was not giving them information about the whereabouts of said person and because of that they ultimately ticketed him for an unregistered car uh but dave you were going to comment on that so go ahead what were your thoughts well people so, so often think that you have to pick between uh saying nothing to the cops and answering their questions but yeah really you want to ask them questions and the most important question to ask them is whether you're you know am i required to answer your question i've never seen that go wrong you know, every time i've ever done that i've always been glad and i've always been happy with the result it at least buys you some time uh, you know if if uh, you do decide to answer questions and there've been occasions where i have where I thought the police were conducting a legitimate investigation. Uh, at least I had some time to think while they were answering that question. Am I required to answer your question? Mm -hmm. I think sometimes they can, uh, you know, if you're with a dishonest cop, a dishonest cop might say yes to that question. Then, of course, you'd have well, to follow up with... Well, they often do say yes, and then you can it changes the debate. <laughs> now you're debating about whether whether it's required to answer questions as opposed to giving them information. What would your question be back if they said, yes, you must answer my questions? Uh, I would just say, can you cite the RSA? Uh, what's the RSA that, is uh, uh, revised statutes that or... annotated. That's a code for the New Hampshire state statute. So, yeah, I would ask generally, what is the statute that authorizes you to say that or something like that? My badge. Yeah, that would be that would be one thing. But usually uh, things just go pretty well from, from then on. It just changes the conversation. And you don't want to be, you know, Rob just seemed indignant and uh, he was kind of, you know, he was acting like he was sort of, he's acting, I don't know what the right word is, but it's just, you, you don't you don't want to be too indignant or, or angry at the police. You just have to try to, as best you can, be a little bit amused by what's it's going hard. on. It's hard. I mean, if, if uh, I, I get where you're coming from, but just, you know, to, to defend someone in the moment, uh, it's, you know, the pressure's on. They're after somebody. They want to kidnap a peaceful person. That can be an infuriating thing. And I'm not saying it's okay to be angry. I, I, t I tend to agree with you, Dave, but I also understand why people are angry, upset, and frustrated uh, when dealing with the police, if you go and of on, course we're we're watching this with hindsight of exactly. oh he, you know sort of the Monday morning quarterback sort of thing of well you should have done this yeah, and sure. if you would have done this different. Uh, later on, uh, the Anarchix host Renee Kate shows up in the video and literally starts yelling uh, at the police, which probably doesn't help the situation. But on the other hand, again, I understand. Uh, in this case, they're looking for her boyfriend, so. I could understand why she was upset about this. I mean, they want to kidnap her her peaceful boyfriend, and that's kind of an upsetting thing. Uh, and on the other hand, you know, she was trying to communicate to the police, and they had rolled their, they had their windows rolled up. So, you know, if you do want to be heard, you do have to shout in order to uh, get through closed glass. But nonetheless, uh, I mean, go well, ahead, Dave. You know, I mean, all, all of us, all of us, if you look at the first, the early interactions that each of us has had with the police, we probably all made many of the same mistakes. I yeah. know I sure did. If you watch my early videos. 
you know, when it was the first five times <laughs> interacting with him. Uh, but yeah, you, you don't want to, you, you, I guess, you know, after, after Renee, uh, uh, confronted them, I guess she posted this angry message on Facebook. It just, it just sounded ghetto, you know, it was just like F the police and I'm angry. And it just sounded like the sort of thing that criminals would say when the police were coming out. There was nothing to distinguish it from, uh, you know, uh, to make it a liberty issue as opposed to just, you know, uh, the way a criminal would sound. you you got to distinguish yourself. Yeah, no, I see where you're... I totally understand where you're coming from. I don't disagree with, with any of your critique, uh, but at the same time, it's hard when, you know, the stress is on and the police are there trying to kidnap a loved one. I, I don't blame anyone yeah, for being that, upset. The big difference is the difference between zero resistance and some sloppy resistance, right? There's more difference between those two things than there is between sloppy resistance and good resistance. So at least they were doing something. Yeah, I mean, let's talk about more of some of the things they got right. Uh, They got right by contacting their fellow activists who showed up, and there were probably five or six people that showed up on that scene. They're all, a lot of people in Manchester, a number of them live on the west side of town, so they were in that west side of town, and so it was relatively easy for several activists in the middle of the day. This was, you know, people are at work, so folks who who weren't uh, who were available at that time were able to easily come down there. Some of them uh, walked because they were, you know, they're in with within walking distance in their their houses there. So putting the word out to other folks was definitely something that they got right. It allowed more cameras to come down onto the scene, more people to come down to witness. Uh, what was going on, and of course Rob had pulled his camera out immediately on the police approaching him, and he recorded pretty much a solid 13 minutes uh, of video there. So so that was definitely the right thing to do and to contact others. Now apparently they didn't use cell 411, which I think that uh, they should have probably used. Uh, that's something that activists need to get practice with. Uh, are you familiar with it, Dave? I've heard of it. It won't work on my phone, but oh, uh, yeah, no. I do support people using it. Oh no! Is it? Do you have a smartphone? Oh, it's my fault. It's not Virgil's fault. It's just I have an old phone. Ah, uh, okay. So most people that have a smartphone, cell four one one should work for them. It's not a particularly complicated program. Uh, as long as your phone has a, it's a smartphone and it's got GPS, it should work uh, with cell four one one. It works on both Android and iOS devices. It's free. So there's no reason to not have this thing. Basically, it's a, an activist alert system. There, there is a reason if you don't have a smartphone. Okay, right. I did preface that uh, you do need a smartphone for this. So uh, if you have a smartphone and you download this app, there's no reason to not have this app. Uh, it's free. There's no excuse. This app works very, very well. It sends out a notice whenever something's happening to you. You can send out a notice like, oh, the police are here, or there's a fire, or a medical emergency. There's a bunch of them. There's like, you know, eight or 12 different things that you can send out. Uh, and you send out, so in this case, it would be, you know, the police are here, or I'm cop blocking, or, or whatever. Police are here, the police are messing with me. You can add a little personal message to it if you, if you want to. And then it sends out a notice to all of your friends who are sort of linked up with you over cell 411. They'll get that notice on their phone, and it'll say, oh, Dave is having an issue with police. He's at this location here in, in Manchester, New Hampshire. Can you help? And then it'll give you the ability to respond, yes, I am available, I'm on my way, or no, I can't help. And so then, you know, you'll get a response on your phone if you have a chance to look at it, letting you know who's on their way to come help you out. I think it's an incredibly great idea for activists and really wherever you're located, if you are in an activist community or even if you're just doing like a neighborhood watch group or if you want to hook up your family members with this. This isn't just for activists. This is great for, you know, neighborhood watches or anybody else that that needs to communicate emergency, urgent communications to another uh, set of group members. They didn't do cell 411 on this, and I think that's probably because there aren't that many people that have it yet. So I wanted to take time to uh, to let folks know about that. Dave, I uh, suspect you might be cutting this up into one of your own videos. Maybe you'll offer some of your critiques there. Well, not necessarily. I think I will just archive it. I did download it, and uh, you know, it might come up at some point in commentary. But uh, mostly, the Ridley report is dominated by ambush interviews. Now it's me engaging the bad guys as opposed to reporting on the liberty activists. Gotcha. You do good work, Dave Ridley from RidleyReport.com. Uh, now we still need to talk, uh, Daryl, about why you say that saying to the police, "I don't answer questions," is not the best tactic. Yes. Uh, so we're going to come back with that. 
and you can share with us what you think your best tactics are for dealing with the police when they are threatening you or your friends or your family. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. Also, I've got the video of the guy who uses the don't answer questions tactic. We'll share that too. You can control your health care with Liberty Health Share. Liberty Health Share is like minded people coming together to share medical costs, which saves money. You don't even have to pay for procedures that violate your conscience. Because we all share the same values. Join the movement of people who share in medical costs and change the way you pay for your health care forever. Go to libertyhealthshare.org to find out more. Liberty Health Share. Together, we're changing health care for good. LibertyHealthShare.org. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. This is a healthcare alert from the Pain Relief Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You don't have to suffer any longer. You can immediately qualify for a pain relieving brace at little or no cost to you by calling our 24 7 Pain Relief Hotline at 866 389 0620. Delivery is free and all paperwork is handled for you. If you are on Medicare and have knee, back, shoulder, or ankle pain, don't wait you can qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost by calling our 24-7 pain hotline now at 866-389-0620. Our representatives are standing by 24-7 to take your call and rush you your pain-relieving brace at little or no cost to you. Shipping is free and all paperwork is handled for you. Just call 866-389-0620. That's 866-389-0620. Again, 866-389-0620. Now, a lot of little girls do ballet even though their fathers couldn't care less and don't see what the big deal is. But one talented little prodigy actually choreographed a whole ballet that her father could enjoy and even look forward to. Let's meet Erin Kemper and her father, Jack. Hi. Thanks for having us. Erin, how did you do that? I thought about all the things that my dad likes to watch and put it into a ballet. Well, we have a special treat for you today because Erin is now going to perform her new ballet. When I pay the bills, I get to make the rules. We can't afford that. World War II. I miss your mother too, but we're gonna have to do the best without her. Oh, Redskins! Bravo! Well done. Boy, I wish she were mine. You know, my two girls are grown up, but you still couldn't pay me to watch one of their a cappella shows. <laughs> what inspired you to create this amazing ballet? I'm really inspired by the theme of my dad paying any attention to me at all. Now, at the end, I hear she just put the game up on the big screen. I don't know where she gets it. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Onion News Network. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free, at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. Currency is too important a thing to be left in the hands of government bureaucrats, especially when billions of dollars can be created with the swipe of a pen. Overstock.com supports the cryptocurrency movement because it returns the power of an inflation-proof money to the people where it belongs. Did you know that you can use Bitcoin to pay for anything Overstock.com sells while enjoying free shipping on orders of 0.211 Bitcoin or more? If you support freedom in the cryptocurrency movement, you should support Overstock.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It is Free Talk Live. You may join us toll-free. Our number is 855-450-FREE. And yes, we are here live on this Christmas Day edition. Uh, Thanks to Kyle over at the Genesis Communications Network for coming in on both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day to help provide us with access to our wonderful radio stations 
that are carrying the show tonight. So welcome uh, to the show. We'll be here throughout the holidays with you tonight. It's Ian. And Daryl. And we were just talking about Rob Mathias. He is the host of the Rebel Love Show uh, being threatened by police earlier this week. He put the video out over at freekeen.com. So if you go there, you can see the video of him uh, dealing with the police. And we were talking about different tactics for how to deal with these cops course not talking to them is always the best approach i think generally like as a general across the board rule not speaking to police is generally the best approach but there are certain circumstances in which uh you know the cops might get weird if you don't say anything at all to you, them you you have to say something and that's the yeah. point that i want to okay, go ahead. make there was a supreme court case back in 2010 uh i don't was have that the long name ago? of it in front of me uh, but it was a 5-4 decision, and the majority ruled that you must verbalize your intent to remain silent. Yeah. If you sit there and say nothing— They could think you're insane or something like that and, like, put you in the insane asylum Right, or and we, we had a friend of ours that had a situation about a year and a half ago where she got pulled over by police, did not say anything— and then they wound up charging her with, like, interfering with an investigation and resisting arrest and some other stuff because she never said anything. She didn't say, I'm not answering your questions. Mm -hmm. She didn't say, I'm invoking my right to remain silent. And she didn't do what you're saying of, I don't answer questions. And by saying, I don't answer questions, you are not invoking your right to remain silent. So if you want you're not? to. No. You're just saying, I'm not answering questions. Well, that's you're not the same saying thing. I'm invoking my right to remain silent. Okay. So if you want to invoke your right to remain silent, you must say, I wish to remain silent. And one of the dissenting judges in that case points out the absurdity, says criminal suspects must now unambiguously invoke their right to remain silent, which counterintuitively requires them to, to speak. speak. At the same time, suspects will be legally presumed to have waived their rights, even if they have given no clear expression of their intent to do so. And the case in question, there was this guy that he got arrested, had been read his Miranda his Miranda rights, was given a waiver to, you know, like, I waive my rights. rights. He never signed it, and he never verbalized during the three-hour interrogation that he was exercising his right to remain silent. And then he answered with a single word one of the questions. They used that one word answer as incriminating evidence mm -hmm. against him to help get a conviction. Okay, so I'm hearing what you're saying there, Daryl. You're saying you need to invoke your right to remain silent based on which the requires Court. you to speak something. So to right. sit there silently and right. not respond at all is not a good tactic because the police right. can arrest That's you. That's not what this guy does. He he actually tells the cops over and over again, I don't answer questions. Now, what right. you said Which, earlier again, was that's is, not a good tactic. Right, because he's not expressly invoking his right to remain silent, so they could wind up charging him with one of these obstruction of government whatevers. Hmm. So if you're not going to answer their questions, say, I'm invoking my right to remain silent. Well, I mean, he's answering the question by saying, I don't answer questions. Right. I mean, you, and you're it under no obligation. For, it if you're worked go, for him if in that case, but, if you're but going to, if there's you're, no guarantee that it will work. If you're going to uh, speak to them, then you're not under any obligation to give them the answers they want. You can still say, I'm not answering your questions, and that is an answer to the question. Right, like that's a, it's a response. They it's can't a response. claim that you're not responding. They can't claim you are re remaining silent. So I think your interpretation but they, they is could faulty. Say that you are obstructing their investigation. Well, I, I, uh, there's no example of a case where that's happened, right? They could not say that, that I'm I suppose, aware of, but, but we do know of somebody that sat silent and did not respond that was charged with obstruction. You talking about Garrett uh, or uh, Eric Freerock? Uh, okay, then we know two people. Who's the other one? Uh, Amanda Johnson, when she was pulled over in Laconia. Mm, yeah, that's right. Yeah, in in their case, they didn't. They got arrested because they didn't provide their license quickly enough, if I'm recalling correctly. 
And they also did not, re- at least in the case of Amanda, she did not respond at all but, with anything. But the actual charge was because they didn't provide their license. They didn't do it fast enough for the police's uh, preference, and that's what the charges were, were based on. I get where you're coming from, and it seems like a legitimate concern, Daryl, but I can't imagine that saying I'm uh, not answering your question is going to be considered as as obstructing. I, I can, uh, and the reason so is because when I lived in Pennsylvania, there was a case out of Ohio that got a good bit of coverage where I was living where somebody was called as a witness in some sort of teamster strike something they beat up some scabs or some sort of thing the guy's up on the stand and every question other than what's your name spell your last name and give us your address he said I invoke my fifth amendment right to remain silent and he was charged with obstruction of justice for not answering questions under oath on stand. Well, they're probably asking him questions about the other people, which he has to answer. You can't invoke your Fifth Amendment right to remain silent about things other people did on the stand. That's my understanding. I'm no legal expert, right. but, but my understanding is you can remain silent when the cops are asking you questions on a, on a scene or whatever once you invoke your right to remain you silent. You still must but invoke your right to remain that's silent. That's what I said. You, you invoke your right to remain silent, but... Uh, When it comes to being on the stand under oath, they have the ability to question you about what other people did. And as long as it's not incriminating yourself, you have to answer those questions. So your Fifth Amendment right from is from self-incrimination. It's not just that you get the ability to to stay quiet. I mean, I think you should have the ability to stay quiet on on the witness stand. I mean, but ultimately, if you do if you do stay quiet on the witness stand, you're going to get hit with contempt of court or obstruction of justice. And again, I I don't know what questions they were asking, so I don't know if any of the questions of this guy had anything to do with other people or if it was all stuff that you know. Did you know? Blah blah blah. But whatever, you know. The, well, I suspect was, that it had to do with other people because otherwise it wouldn't have, uh, the charges wouldn't have stood. Right. But it also would have to know of his knowledge of what was happening. And if he had knowledge of, then. He has to talk about it. No, because they Unless could wind up him. charging you with conspiracy because you know of something criminal that happened. Unless it incriminates him, he has to answer the questions. Now, he could right. answer you the question. You have knowledge with- of something that was criminal that happened. Yeah. So, therefore, we can charge you with conspiracy for this criminal thing. L- like I said, it you know I'd be, it'd be great if you didn't have to answer the questions, but you do have to answer them if they're about other people. In his case, you know, he could always answer them of, I don't recall. You know, that's one way to get around Then they that. get you with perjury. If they well, know they, they, they have to be able to prove that you recalled. Right. So, I mean, this is a typical politician answer. I don't recall. And that's because it's a pretty safe answer uh, to right. use. But at least then you're answering the question as opposed to invoking a Fifth Amendment right, which can't protect you from answering questions about other people. Right. That's and my understanding. I'm not an attorney. That's not legal advice. And my whole point on the you know response of I don't answer questions is, you're still not you're not invoking the right to remain silent. You don't have to if you're going to talk to the police and he is talking to the police. So I think we're going to disagree on the the legal interpretation on this one, Daryl. Uh, in this case it works for Kenny Souter who is uh, being harassed by a cop. We'll give you a little excerpt from this video. Cop comes up, pulls him over. This was uh, May 7th, 2012. Stands outside yes, sir. the window. Can you down for me, please? Uh, I can hear you just fine. So I'm going to have to ask you to roll the window down. I can hear you just fine, officer. The top's just standing there, staring. There's my license. To roll the window down, please. I can hear you just fine, officer. He's holding his license There's out license. the window. There's my license. There's my registration. Or my insurance. <laughs> Is there some reason you can't roll the window down? I saw you roll it up. <laughs> I'm gonna I don't answer questions. Question. I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? That's correct. What's the reason for that? I don't answer questions. <laughs> Do you want my license and registration or not? Cop grabs it. <laughs> then the cop f- just throws one of them back into the car. Ultimately, uh, this continues, but we're not going to have time for it. So I'm going to link to the full... last name for me. I don't answer questions. I'm going to need you to pronounce your last name. 
I don't answer questions. It's there on the license. That does not sound like a question. No, it's but not a question. But, it's a, but I think it's a safe, a relatively safe tactic, all things considered, because you don't have to think about anything else. Just saying that same line over and over again. Of course, another good one is, am I free to go? Am I being detained? We'll post this on our Facebook and Twitter. See ya. Are you what if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 90% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. If you're a regular reader of FreeKeene.com, you know there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at FreeKeene.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at FreeKeene.com. That's FreeKeene.com. You can control your health care with Liberty HealthShare. Liberty HealthShare is like-minded people coming together to share medical costs, which saves money. You don't even have to pay for procedures that violate your conscience. Because we all share the same values. Join the movement of people who share in medical costs and change the way you pay for your health care forever. Go to libertyhealthshare.org to find out more. Liberty HealthShare. Together, we're changing health care for good. libertyhealthshare.org. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. Anarchix is coming up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene and the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, December 25th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.38 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,076 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $458. Antiwar.com reports, backed by U.S. airstrikes, the Kurdish YPG is making new gains in northern Syria, part of an offensive they believe will ultimately put them on the outskirts of the Islamic State capital city of Raqqa. Right now, however, the focus is on a pair of important Euphrates River dams. The closer of the two is Tishreen, which is just 20 kilometers from the YPG forces. If they take that, it's just a stone's throw to the even bigger Bath Dam, which includes a power plant which supplies much of northern Syria, including virtually all of the Islamic State's caliphate. In the past two days, the YPG fighters captured three villages, and they say they believe they will make further advances along the riverfront in the coming days. The wild card in all of this will be Turkey, as they have met previous YPG gains against the Islamic State with harsh condemnation and threats of military action, believing the U.S. is making a mistake and allowing the Kurds to take over the Islamic State territory. For nearly 40 years, Roberts & Roberts Brokerage has been a trusted source for buying and selling precious metals like gold and silver. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and have permanently removed the minimum purchase amount for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on buying and selling precious metals and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 800-874-9760 or visit online at rrbi.co. UPI reports the top law enforcement officer in Illinois has barred fantasy football sites DraftKings and FanDuel from collecting money from residents there because she says the operations amount to gambling, which is illegal in that state. After an investigation, Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan concluded that paying money to play fantasy football with the hope of winning cash prizes meets the definition of gambling under state law. DraftKings and FanDuel, which have each been investigated in recent months over allegations of insight 
insider information have repeatedly claimed their operations are protected by a 2006 federal law that exempts fantasy sports from a law barring wagers from being processed online. Madigan, however, disagrees with the interpretation of the law. She notes that both fantasy leagues even state on their websites that their games are not available to residents in states that have laws prohibiting gambling. In her conclusion, Madigan also noted there is currently legislation in the Illinois General Assembly that seeks to exempt fantasy sports sites from the state's ban on gambling. Because the proposed legislation is not yet law, Madigan said daily fantasy sports sites constitute illegal gambling under Illinois law. Madigan's conclusion is another blow to the New York and Boston-based websites, which have been trying to fend off multiple legal challenges for weeks. In 2115 New England, there are no borders, no states, and no regulations, yet never has a more peaceful and prosperous place existed. But Mr. Drake Security Company has seen better days. Faced with the prospect of waning power, Mr. Drake intends to replace the anarchy of New England with a government. But at what cost? And can anyone stop him? Anarchy in New England by Joe Jarvis is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. Reuters reports several hundred protesters against police killings marched on Thursday along Chicago's Michigan Avenue, also called the Magnificent Mile, calling for Mayor Rahm Emanuel to step down and aiming to disrupt Christmas shopping in a glittering upscale commercial area. The demonstration was mostly peaceful, however police scuffled with a few dozen protesters who were trying to block the entrance to an H&M store and to obstruct traffic both ways on Michigan Avenue. During the march, protesters chanted 16 shots and a cover-up, protesting the year-long delay in bringing murder charges against police officer Jason Van Dyke, who, according to video footage of the incident, shot and killed Laquan McDonald in October 2014 as the teenager walked away from police. Police killings have sparked protests in some U.S. cities over the last year and a half. Black Lives Matter, a loosely organized movement involved in many protests over race and policing issues, is calling the demonstrations Black Christmas. Also on Thursday, dozens of protesters marched into San Francisco's City Hall over the police killing of a man earlier this month, demanding the firing of the city's police chief. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Publicists everywhere agreed this week that the nation's celebrities are in dire need of more fame, stressing that all six billion of the world's populace should know every U.S. celebrity by name and face by now. Publicists are calling for an emergency influx of buzz, heat, press, and word of mouth to be administered to the nation's celebrities immediately in order to prevent crucial fame levels from becoming dangerously low. Novelist Edward Milligan told reporters this week that in his new book, By the Water's Edge, he has fleshed out in meticulous detail his own huge and stunningly world. Using in-depth research and the power of his own imagination, Milligan was able to conjure out of thin air every hackneyed character, trite street name, and horse backstory in the fictional town of Connors Cove. The complete f***ing hack proudly said he has created a universe that readers will feel they can actually reach out and touch. Sources say the prolific writer has not yet been punched repeatedly in the face. In other news, McDonald's opens a new senior citizen play place. This is the Onion News Network.